Right on time? Right on time. Ish? Ish. <laughs> Close? You finished clicking everything at 11.15, so... Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. You're looking, uh, that says red, so it should be working. That says red, so it should be working. So we're live? I see yes there. We're supposed to be live. We're live. We're live. Hi! And that's our show. Thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Okay. Whew. Now that that's over. Yeah, thankfully. Oh, hey, Stephen Deitch is here. Good evening. Good evening, Stephen. Good evening. Uh, so, in an attempt to get the script finished so uh, Ellis can actually start editing today, which was today was the best day for them to be able to get going on it, I, um... Inadequate sleep last night, getting getting my everything finished because I'm always last minute. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's a really horrible habit, and everyone's used to hearing this. So I'm <laughs> I'm I'm like I'm tired. How's it going? <laughs> yeah, sleep. Yeah. yeah, sleep. Everybody needs it. Yeah, I got a little. <laughs> well, we're live. We are live. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, welcome to the first video, little bit of the show. We're going to break the show up into three segments, sort of, uh, today, kind of, sort of. Because the first 45 minutes here is for you only, Stephen, because you're the only one here, right? Oh, no, Art Man and James Allen is here now, too. Cool. So, the first 45 minutes is just for you guys. It's just for those members who are who are part of the patron, who are... who who directly support me and at this point Felicia a little bit as well with with getting going and, and making this whole YouTube thing happen. So thank you guys a lot. And and we're here to to talk to you and say hi to John Paramore and say hi to Nora and everyone else who's who's popping into the chat. Uh, if you're watching from the future, well, if you want to see uh, the excitement of the early 45 minutes that's for everybody else, then please check out odinmakes.com or uh, did that again, patreon.com slash odinmakes. Obviously, you can see which one's more important to me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, um, you know, I guess if I make odinmakes.com slash Patreon route to the patreon.com slash odinmakes page, that could work, right? <laughs> anyway. Feedback loop. Feedback loop. Um, <laughs> No, I wouldn't feed back because you would end up in, in the You'd one spot. You'd end up in the right spot. You'd end up in the right spot, yeah. Yeah. But uh, you, you you can get in on it, and you can get in on 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 having your voice easily heard and having your name recognized. And and honestly, guys, thank you so very much for for your support and and for helping keep this channel going. Uh, I say it every week, and I honestly mean it every week. This show happens because of the Patreon support. Uh, I'm not able to do this out of the house and uh, doing it here in the shop. You guys are, are, are taking care of my shop fees and kept me going through the whole pandemic. And thank you so much. From viewers like you. From viewers like you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and if you're watching for the, for the future, thank you for watching. Viewers That's also like important. Because you, you are also a viewer. And thank you. <laughs> yes, every view, right? Every, every view. All hail the algorithm. All hail the algorithm. Feed it. Like Feed it. it. Feed the algorithm. <laughs> oh. Oh, let's see. So what's everybody saying? What's everybody saying? Looks got like mostly hellos. got a lot of hellos. It's almost like it's the beginning of the stream. Come on, mouse behave. We've got uh, good evening to you all from Steven. We have Artman2019 with a hey. James hey. Allen says hi y'all. Hi y'all. Uh, the Jack of All Trades says hi ya. Yeah. No, it's a y'all as well. Uh, John Paramore says Shady is here. Shady is uh, one of the more active members on the uh, on the Minecraft server. Okay. Or, or at least the times that I'm on, Shady is also on. So either way, my point of view makes him active. But yeah, I'm just probably playing for the people that pop on when you know okay. normal human hours. Um, <laughs> Steven says Felicia, loving the outfit. Thank you. It is now an outfit covered in love. <laughs> it is. Uh, Cobb Corn says hello everyone. Jonathan Wiesner says, hello guys, or hey guys. Leah Jones, hello everyone. And uh, Artman2019 wants to ask, has anyone watched Marvel's Daredevil? Can't spoilers. Can't spoilers. I've seen the first, I've seen the first two seasons and I think I've seen a little bit of the beginning of the third season. I haven't finished the whole series. Um, it's not pulled yet, right? It's still viewable on Netflix. Uh, I, I really enjoyed what I saw. I really enjoyed the show. I really enjoyed Charlie Cox as the as as Daredevil and and Matt Murdock. <coughs> Everything was <coughs> it was a <coughs> and that bad. No. <laughs> here's here's where Odin chokes to death on his own spit live on the internet. Um, 
That was a great show. It was just a, a, a good way to describe it because it was a bit different than most Marvel things. Brutal. I was going to say, is it pretty dark? <laughs> it uh, Daredevil is is a you know, knuckles fighter type of a, a superhero, right? His, so his not superpower, Disney. not Disney. Not no, Disney. his superpower is not flashy. It, you know, it's it, it. Yeah. So there's a lot of beating the snot out of ninjas. Yeah. Which is the comic, so you're accurate, but... Yeah, well, that's what you want. Yeah. Right? Right. And if they didn't deliver, what would they do? <laughs> right. That's interesting how they get rid of, get around violence or cartoon violence and stuff like that. Because mm -hmm. I've had to do videos and things where it's like, we can't be that violent, but they want to show violence, and so we end up with, like, pink blood or, like, purple eyes right. or there's glitter, you know, because if you had glitter, then it's not... <laughs> then it's not blood. Or it's just super minimal, even though someone got hit by a car. Right? Yeah. <laughs> or it's just cut to them in a hospital, which I can appreciate. You know, you don't right. need to see the gore, but sometimes, no. you know, Pat loved the gore. <laughs> Pat, well, yeah, but that's Pat. Pat Egan is a good friend and, and someone I met working at Smosh, and he is a huge horror fan. And at any point in time, if, if you're not prepared, he will immediately go into Cannibal Holocaust and why it's the greatest film of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you've been trapped in a conversation this time or two. A time or two. <laughs> a time or two. Yeah, he's where we got the leg from. Yeah, that's where the leg came from. So, but, yeah, you know. Yeah. Interesting, you know, how mental gymnastics, how what's okay on TV and yeah. what's not. What's not. Right. It's okay to run somebody down with a truck on TV, but heaven forbid you get intimate with anybody. That's wrong! <laughs> Cover your eyes, black Cover your eyes. people. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. You know. The fun parts of the job, right? Right. You couldn't have yellow pee? <laughs> no, we couldn't have yellow pee at Smosh. The apparently... Either it was a YouTube thing or it was the people who own Smosh thing that, you know, I think I said this last week, we weren't allowed to use anything other than clear fluid to represent urine. And I had no idea about that. Either. Yeah. <laughs> and um, uh, vomit was always green. It was always, literally, it was a green machine from uh, um, Naked Juice. I remember the vomit was quite delicious. Yeah, the vomit was very delicious. Oh my gosh. Was <laughs> yeah, it was good because there's a lot of sugar in green machine. But, yeah, no, um, like, I, yeah. I feel like... We've done that vomit gag so many times that it's been like, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if I've been on camera vomiting, but I remember I've had to do the vomit. I do the vomit yeah. rig or gag or yeah, something. Yeah, the yeah. gag, yeah. So it's, it's like I remember Which, drinking it because I was, but I don't know if it ever ended up in. I would often drink the remainder of the vomit, you know, yeah. after we were done with it and, and we didn't need it anymore. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, but it's like, I remember being in random shots. Can you just do this real quick? Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. So, so, but still, there's it was so much that it's like, well, what even happened? Oh, yeah, I forgot we even shot that episode, but I kind of right. remember all those outfits. Right. <laughs> I remember a lot of the prep work. I remember a lot of the stress. I don't remember the actual stories. There, Yeah, or by the time it finally comes out, we've already, like, moved on. Yeah, we moved on to six stories down the line. Yeah. So it's like, what actually ended up, I don't know. Right. Yeah. Um, now, you did say one thing that was kind of funny because it sort of works as um, a pun, and I know it wasn't intended. You were talking about you never did do the vomit gag. <laughs> do you, for those who don't know, gag is actually a term within filming. Would you like to explain what a gag is? <laughs> well, it's a visual bit. I guess you could say, like, we have a vomit gag, we have a blood gag, we have a um, yeah, ex exploding smoothie gag. I was going to say explosions. So, so the gag is, 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 is the trick. It's the thing you need to make happen on camera is the gag. Yeah. It's not... I had to do a smoking oven mitt. That was a gag. Not for Smosh. That was for a commercial. But oh, okay. smoke pencils are amazing. Yeah. Smoke pencils, if you guys don't know what they are, are um, they, they're not actual pencil shaped. They're little boxes. <laughs> don't smoke pencils, kids. <laughs> no. But they're for car, testing a car exhaust system. So it flushes smoke through the system to see if there's any leaks. Right. And those things are great for giving fake. Giving just a little bit of fake? Well, it's, a lot of bit of fake smoke. Like, it gives you a really good puff of smoke. And it's, like, better than a fog machine, but it's a little more compact. So smoke pencils are, like, my favorite thing for that. Um, Interesting. You know, smoky, singy beard. Or, like, we had a burnt oven mitt. Or you right. want a little puff of smoke because it really helps with the effect on cameras. You know? Okay. Frame rate. So... Smoke right. pencils are one of those things that I wish I knew about sooner, but as soon as I found out about them, <laughs> yeah, they're great. But yeah, gags. 
gags. Smoke gags if you need one. Smoke Gag. pencils. <laughs> Gag yourself on a pencil. Don't do that. No, people. don't do that. No. Don't do that. People. No. No. Now I just need to figure out how to add color to, to those. the smokes. Yeah, because yeah. we had to use the other, the more flammable kind for colored smoke. It, right. Yeah. Or you just buy the illegal smoke bombs and have yeah. to wash it off the walls. <laughs> oh, don't do that. No, you don't use those inside. <laughs> no, don't use smoke inside. Uh, our man continues with saying, uh, Marvel's Daredevil, I haven't finished it yet, but it's so good. Yeah, yeah, it is. It really is. Um, John Paramore says, Minecraft is addicting. Agree or disagree? <laughs> okay, Shady. Yeah. <laughs> you were resisting it going, I don't know about that Oh, Minecraft. I was so resisting Minecraft forever. And now you're like, oh my god. <laughs> so I made a thing, and it does a thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I heard the Minecraft servers are pretty fun right now. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, there's some really nice... Uh, Princess Squib has built this wonderful giant uh, crystal tree, crystalline tree. It's, it's Ooh, her home base. Sparkly. It's done out all of amethyst and quartz with sea glass. And are there going to be elves soon because you I a fancy tree? No, I don't think there are any elf mobs, so no, I don't think elves automatically show up. I don't up. know, I just think of a light tree and I was like, oh, are you going to have some gross elves? <laughs> yeah. yeah, no. <laughs> but that's awesome. Yeah. I, ha I haven't been to your Minecraft server yet. Oh, uh, good. I haven't been. I've been resisting it too because, <laughs> you know, my time has been very full. Right. So, trying to add that into it, it hasn't happened yet. Okay, that's fine. But I hear it's fun. It's fun. I think it's fun. Right. Uh, Steven says, uh, finally watched Black Widow this week. It was, it was enjoyable, wasn't it? It wasn't the best Marvel movie, but it was fun. You haven't seen it? No, yeah, I haven't. Fine. No. I was debating whether to see it or not. Oh, okay. Because they were supposed to have the theater release and they didn't. Didn't Scarlett Did Johansson like, sue Disney Plus over releasing her video? Didn't, the didn't I see it in the theater? Did you see it in the theater? I thought I had a simultaneous release. Did, it did might it not. Have. I don't know. I, I think, and that, I think that's what she was suing over because that cut into the theater profits, which she contractually was supposed to get a large portion of. Anyway, Scarlett Johansson's not working with Disney anymore for sure. But <laughs> poor Scarlett. Yeah, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure she's. I just remember it. there was some drama going on with yeah. that one. But you didn't like it that much. Um, it was fine. It wasn't, it didn't... Give her justice, or... Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of. I, I... There's only so many ways you can sort of retell, retell the La Femme Nikita story, and, and Black Widow's a La Femme Nikita story, again. <laughs> it's like... Now, you can say the same thing about any superhero, so that's not fair, but there's something about it was... Just very. It, it it might have suffered from a year and a half of previews. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Okay, well that's fair. Yeah, it is fair. So I'm gonna start pulling out things okay. from the boxes over there. If you want to see what people are saying. Sure, if if people are saying. If people are saying. Um. Ben and Lynch says, well, kidders, any crack? I watched it too this week. I'm not sure on that word there, Mr. Lynch. Um, Jack of all trades is saying, you guys know my take on Black Widow. I don't remember it, but it sounds not positive. Uh, Black Widow's a good movie, John says. It was a good movie. It just wasn't... Yeah, it was middle of the road. Uh, it wasn't the best film, but it wasn't bad, says Stephen. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was like... Uh, and Leah Jones says, I like the movie, but I felt it was more about her sister. It absolutely was. It was setting up her sister. She's going to be great. You know, she totally stole the show and, and, and was a lot of fun. You know, Red Guardian was fun, but he was kind of a... Not a throwaway character, but, you know, it was, mm -hmm. it was all good. I forgot to bring a brush. Oh. I've got a comb. That's okay. I actually think I might have one. Okay. But, yeah. I like puppets with, with the realistic wigs. Okay. Yeah. And this was over in that box that I left here. Okay. This random wig is from the Lenin, 
the Jesus Lennon hippie box at <laughs> decades. Oh, <laughs> that no oh, longer this, exists. So that is actually a decades wig. This is an old decades wig. It's one that's been used and washed multiple multiple times. Okay. And yeah. you know how we had a Jesus Lennon hippie box. <laughs> I I don't know, but that's easy to put together. Yes, and so renting out those costumes, we do them over and over and a lot of times. Right. <laughs> All of them, and so you have your favorite wigs. This one was one of my favorite ones because it. I know it looks really trashed right now. Right. But we wash them like every time they've been rented. So of they course. go through the laundry. It, yeah. Like full on go through the laundry. But this one like fits really nice and looks really good once it's cleaned so up. You literally just throw it in the washing machine? And it doesn't come out like a ratted puffball? <laughs> um, I think he does it on the delicate cycle. Okay. But yeah, he washes every single one. They smell come back smelling like delicious tide. You know, the oh, yeah. soap, it smells amazing. Like, well, if, 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 for those of you who haven't worn a wig that actually also has hair, it's a sweat collector. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I hope it uh, gets washed every yeah. single time. So we're getting a costume shop. We yeah. wash a lot of wigs. <laughs> and definitely there's some wigs that are better than other wigs. You know, there yeah. are ones that are just, we did not rent them because we knew they would not go through the wash. They were just for sale. They were temporary. Oh, they okay. are going to last the night and then you're going to throw them away. Like those really, really long black witch hair ones. Okay. That have the really fake synthetic hair. Not the good synthetic hair, but... The fake, yeah. You know, yeah. you touch it and... It, <laughs> we would just sell those. Okay. <laughs> yeah. You, it's, we, it's yours. <laughs> it's yours. It's not going to last the night. And then there's the ones that it's like, oh, yeah, we'll just throw this through the wash. We'll brush it up. We'll clean it up. And then okay. it rented a lot. You know, I like the ones that had kind of a lace front or the different types. Some of them, right. if you look at them, they have like fake scalp. <laughs> right yes, at the top. I've, I've so seen like, <laughs> see a little scalp in the, in, the, in the part. Yeah, because it gives it that better look. I don't know. There's just yeah. the little details that make a difference. It's finishing edges. Is yes, what it, it is. really is, is. Yeah, it really is. Is the edge finish. So I grabbed this one because I was like, you know what? I think this one will work for me today. Okay. Yeah. So you're just going to cut it? You're going to you're gonna rip the strands off the... the do you have I a don't plan? Know. No. Okay. I do not have a plan. I just All saw right. this and I was like, oh, that's about my hair color. Yeah. There, um, there was a point in time when I made myself a Beetlejuice makeup, you know, back when Beetlejuice was in the theaters. And um, yeah, I found a wig at a Goodwill and or a thrift shop of some sort. And that's what I did. The, the hair is actually tied to long strands uh -huh. of string, twine, to something. Net. It's to a net, but the individual, it's not individual yeah. hairs. You got these, it's like surged on the edge. So mm -hmm. I cut the wig apart to just these individual pieces and glued them to a bald cap. Yeah. And made my own, my own Beetlejuice wig that... Uh, you could buy those too, just hair okay. extensions. You can get them without the clips too. Because right. you can glue those in, you can sew those in, and you can also clip them in. I've gotten just the uh, but, Salion, whatever the... It's it's the braid in hair extensions. Yeah. I bought packages of that and made a really goofy Wookiee suit once. <laughs> it's fun to play in that stuff, yeah, that's it is. for sure. It's cheap. <laughs> At least it was. It can be. It can be. If you get a more synthetic, it's cheaper. Yeah. Anything on the real side is not going to no, be. No, 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 no. But there are better synthetics than others, and there are ones that can handle heat, and there's ones that can't, and it doesn't always matter. Right. I'm pretty sure mine couldn't handle heat, and it was very synthetic, because it was like $2 a package. It was cheap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Those ones you can still set with curlers. You just use water and set it overnight. It's just oh, okay. the time holding it. But you don't want to put heat on those, but you can still style them using okay. time. Okay. I just let it all hang. <laughs> no, I know. It's Beetlejuice. It's not supposed to be yeah. pretty. Well, the, the, that was Wookie, but yeah. Oh, Wookie too. Beetlejuice was just whatever Goodwill wig I found that yeah. was relatively sort of close. <laughs> yeah. I spray painted a white wig, like one of those little bob wigs with bright yellow um, spray paint and to do one of those Andy Warhol painting. Okay. Yeah. I used black and yellow. It was really fun. I, that was like one of those cheap wigs where I'm like, yeah, this one's just, I'm this. buying to throw away because I painted it. Uh-huh, it's done. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, I may have glued that one in, but I have to get them out. Yeah, you want to take them out. You don't want to be as cuddly as a cactus. No. Strict Aphid is here. hey -o! Jerry Prop says, hi, guys. Ben Ellis, Jerry! <laughs> oh, the fun. So we have all, one of the fun, uh, Strict Aphid, I gave him a shout out to his YouTube channel in this last video with uh, the Squid Game mask, right? Oh, yeah. Apparently, he managed to double his subscribers, which is cool. Congratulations. <laughs> 
But unfortunately, and I'm, I'm, I've given away some, 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 some information here, Strix, so feel free to be angry with me if I'm speaking out of turn. Uh, a while ago, he had made a promise that if he broke 100 subscribers, he would make a certain sword. <laughs> uh, now he's kind of committed. <laughs> sort of, if he's going to keep that promise. Well, somebody noticed <laughs> and is paying attention. No, he told me. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm totally paying attention. But it was just, you know. It'll happen eventually, so no big deal. I need a little more glue in there. Where's the glue? You almost went to it. It's right there. Oh, it's hiding. It's hiding. It's hiding because I, I tidied it up. Uh, thank you for noticing the picture quality is a lot better this week, Stephen. Um, John came back and gave me a hand with figuring out exactly what the settings were because stuff updated and I don't look at that. So, uh, yeah, it's set for streaming high today. So we're... Streaming high today. We haven't even opened the glue yet. But no. Yeah, okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. James Allen says, I watched that video and subscribed to his channel. Uh, Strict David with a crying face says, I'm currently working on it. <laughs> well, you're not making the singing sword from Roger Rabbit, right? That's that's the one I really have no interest in at all. This rubberized sword that sings. Yeah, no, thank you. <laughs> nope, not gonna happen. Have you gotten requests for that? Uh, I will now. <laughs> but, but that one's not gonna happen. That one's not gonna happen. <laughs> so, we need to put your cover yours in fabric. Okay. Yeah. Where did you put the other ones? Because I was thinking. Um, they're over there in the box. Oh, okay. I'll go grab those. Or you can grab them. Because <laughs> you see right where I they got are. Them. <laughs> yeah. This morning I was like, we should use microfiber floss to cover it because it reminds me of the polar fleece and the fabrics that they use to make Muppets. Okay. I remember watching a documentary a long, long, long time ago where they were like interviewing and talking about making puppets and Muppets. Right. And how they were excited about the polar fleece fabric because you could hide seams and the way it kind of stretched and it really had all like these properties that made really good foam puppets. Sure. It and, doesn't stretch at all. Oh, no, 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 no. Not at all because it's a... But it has the nice fuzziness. It does have the fuzziness. to it. And, and it's in the shop, which is part of the goal. Yeah. Something that's just round and about. Yeah. Not buying new things, so. Yay! So, is that going to happen? Are, are, are we sewing any part of this for the we neck or anything sew. else? Okay. I'm not opposed to it. Are, do you, are you opposed to sewing? I'm not opposed to sewing. It's in the shop. Yeah, there's a sewing machine here. Right. Um, question is, is do you, like, with the polar fleece, I was smooshing it so that I didn't have any front seams. You right. You know, like, just kind of smooshing it over the head and leaving space but we could also just cut the shape out you have this lines we could follow and we could right. just i'm all for at least smooshing the face yeah if it'll let me do it oh it totally will you just kind of yeah. have to give yourself a little bit more of a border because you push the wrinkles <laughs> okay past past the border yeah past the border because see how they can start to yeah and then you go up and it's not there so if you push those further down Okay. You end up with less of a... It's a lot of smooshing. A lot of smooshing. So this is definitely not a uh, conserve the materials. It's no. glue it in the middle and... <laughs> yeah, you get kind of smoosh. And then also, um, this looks like it's a woven fabric versus a knit. So it has a definite bias to stretch on. Right. Where if you go straight of grain, it doesn't stretch as much. Right, okay. Where a typical knit, like this one's the... Um, strongest things so if you really want it to smooth you do it at a um, bias so okay. instead of trying to do this as your center front you could do, do a point as a center, center front, front which is kind of what i did with the uh, uh, squid game mask yeah so actually. that you can actually pull see how all of these wrinkles mm -hmm. these big wrinkles that you'd really want to get disappear you can pull those and smoosh them okay you know it's a lot of just smooshing but a I whole would, lot of smooshing but yeah i would use the um, grain to my advantage to versus advantage. against it. And I'm definitely seeing there's a right side and a wrong side to the fabric. Well, here. you have to choose which side you want to be your right side. Do you want to be on the fuzzy side or do you want to be on the little bit of the smooth side? And there's also a nap. 
meaning all the fabric Closer. wants to go one direction. And so well, I'm okay with the fuzzy side for for starters. Yeah, but you're gonna go I with see. the bias, but there's definitely a nap. Okay. You see something? I was just seeing if anybody was saying anything. Ah, nah. <laughs> they don't want to talk to us. No, I shouldn't say that. They want to talk to us. They're fun. I like my people. There you go. So, I was thinking that. I need to brush this desperately. <laughs> but I love puppets with fake hair, with realistic hair. Because I love the way it swings. Right. And the way they talk. Smooshing. So I'm wondering. Are you getting an idea of where you probably want to have? Um... A little bit. Um... <laughs> well, there's going to be a point when seams are going to be a thing. Yeah. So it's like, like where do you want to and... be your seam? Do you want a center front seam? Do you want a front back half seam? Oh, okay. You know, like, where do you want to plan your style lines? Do we want to hide it to the back and put two seams in the back? Do you care if there's a center front seam on your on your face? You're going to put a nose there and eyes on either side, so yeah. it might not be that noticeable. It might not be that noticeable. I'm thinking I like the idea of not having a seam in the and front. And it's kind of going smoothly. It's, it's kind of going the worst. smoothly, yeah. Um, I would suggest instead of using, like, um, rubber cement uh -huh. right away, I would use the... Re spray glue? The re repositionable spray glue. glue. Repositionable spray and glue. And then the hot glue gun just to seal it once every, everything's done. Does that make okay. sense? So it's repositionable on the foam. Right. So you can pull up, smoosh, 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 smoosh. Okay. And then using the hot glue, just keep it in place. And uh, having enough fabric that we can sew the neck pieces and stuff on? Okay. Well, because if we do this whole hemisphere something, right. then we can do this hemisphere something else. Sure. Well, I don't mind that it ends up needing a seam down the back where but you need some neck. sort of hair yeah. is going to happen. But yeah, it needs a neck. It needs a neck. Yeah, no. That the This would be a piece that okay. we could probably go like along here. And then depending on if we want to swoop it in or, you know, let it hang, you know. Right. Neck styles. It's a Muppet. It's a Muppet. There's a lot of weird ways to do it. I don't know the right way yet. Is there a right way? <laughs> Making it up as we go? No, oh, that seems right. Yeah, pretty much. I still get like blue whale vibes from this. Movie. Yeah, <laughs> I, I agree with that. Cobb Corn is building Legos while watching. Oh, nice. Jerry Prop says, is it just me or do the puppets look creepy when they have no skin? <laughs> yeah, skin puppets. I have such sights to show you. All right. Uh... <laughs> Ah, uh, yes. What's going on? With the wig, it gets even scarier. Yes. <laughs> Especially when they have no skin quite yet. Oh, I was looking for repositional spray glue. Repositionable spray glue. I think it's like Eileen's or something. Yes, it is Eileen's. Yeah, it's hers, not mine. Huh. I thought it would have been right there. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to wonder if uh, it didn't get used up or if it got moved. Uh, nope. Yeah, that Scotch guard over there. Get put back in the same rat nest spot, or um, yeah. I'm wondering if a uh, production came through and it's just <laughs> sort of gone. Oh, I see it. Oh, you do. Okay. I do. Right. No one's on camera, but ah. I spy with my little eye. <laughs> the purple eyes cat. <laughs> work. <laughs> well, I was, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really good at playing I spy. I worked at a costume shop. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, and it really sucked when I had something very specific in mind. Like, I know we have this dress or this jacket or this right. specific accessory. <laughs> specific little thing. And it's at a costume shop where everything's like, like... Right. <laughs> yeah. 
Or, so, yeah. How, how, how do you organize a costume shop? Because... <laughs> It's doable. Yeah, I'm, yeah. It is doable. It is a it is a big task. It is no small feat. I bet. So I'm gonna go grab my sewing machine. Okay. I'm gonna get spray glue all over the table again. Sounds like fun. Actually, I'm gonna try not to. I'm gonna get spray glue all over the dogs. <laughs> Steve is asking, what are you doing for arms on your puppets? Unintentionally horror puppets. Um. Yeah, uh, Felicia says she's going to do foam. I, I assumed I'd be making uh, fabric tubes yeah. and do more of the Kermit arms. <laughs> Somebody was saying about Kermit eyeballs. Here. Yeah, I'm not quite. Those are the tags that they use to hang up on pegboards. Oh. And they use those for the stencils to make Kermit's eyes. Really? Yeah, that's Kermit's okay. eyeballs. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Do you have anything with those? Right? Nope, this one's not quite right. Those are wrong. Is it like this one? Oh, got that. But Kermit's that looks more like Kermit's eyes because it's got the top and the bottom and the line, yeah. Yeah, but that's what Kermit's eyes were based off of. Uh, this is a this is a trivia piece I did not know. Where are we at? There it is. Camera two. Yeah. So we're talking about this piece up in here. Yeah, John Paramore says, "Did you know that Kermit's eyes are the holes they use to hang items up on peg hooks?" Which is exactly what you're saying. No, I did not know that. <laughs> yeah, them eyes though. Them eyes though. Them eyes though. Yeah, I think so. Just interesting little facts. Yeah, okay. No, no idea. Yeah, right now is the perfect time to buy eyeballs for puppets. Right. Because there's like eyeballs all over the stores that glow, that light up. That light up, do stuff. Like pre-printed on ping pong balls. Right. <laughs> yeah. I got a few eyeballs at the thrift store. Not the thrift store, at the, the dollar right. store recently. The dollar store, okay. Yeah, I got some glow glowing ones that like change colors. They're really fun. They're lizard looking eyes. Lizard looking cyborg eyes. Yeah, I was like, ooh, I should use these on my puppets, but I'm like, nope, then it's not. <laughs> I not just bought in these. the shop. Yeah. Yep. All right, all right. So, but I was laughing because this is definitely the time to buy eyeballs for puppets. All right. Using the spray can indoors because I am an excellent role model. Kids, don't try this at home. batteries in the wall. Oh, I see. Just squeeze the sides? Yeah. yeah. Alright, it's All right. on. Woo! Smell the glue. Yep. Bless you, Toby. Toby. It is a little dusty in here. Sorry, Toby. It's, <laughs> it's not just me. <laughs> no, it's not just you. It's always dusty in here. It's a foam dust. It is. There's lots it's of foam dust in toxic. here. It's pretty toxic. It is. <laughs> Wear I, don't if it's, I don't know if it's toxic. It's just it's it's a heavy particulate and it doesn't it doesn't just go away. <laughs> yeah. So I'm trying to stretch it over the over the head, get the shape that I want, but also not crush the foam. <laughs> yeah. And you can also take lift it up on the edges mm -hmm. like this, 
So it's kind of the opposite of the curve you want as you go like this, so you pull it towards. Okay. You know, see that extra little thing? You just kind of, yeah, just. So with this one, just smoosh and just smoosh. But you pull it to the end that you're not necessarily working on. But yeah, I will let you do. Sorry. All right, no, no, it's all right, I'm watching. We need thread, or I need thread. Now you want to sew with thread. <laughs> yeah, kind of. Whoa, Bruno. No, Bruno. What did Bruno do now? He wants to eat foam. He always wants to eat foam. Hey! I don't know which one it is, no. but one of them's chewing on this stuff constantly. Yeah, no, this one, right here. That one right there. That one right there. Toby and Bruno are here, by the way. Yes, they are. They don't have a camera because they're at our feet where, you know... There's not really a camera. There's no camera. Oops. I suppose it's okay if the puppet that's supposed to be me has wrinkles. I've got a couple of wrinkles too. <laughs> Increase the stitch length because this stuff's pretty lofty. William Connors is here. Hi, everyone. How are we all today? Doing quite good. How about yourself? You guys have got a pretty good turnout of patrons today. That's pretty cool. I smell the hot glue. That's, that's good, right? Yeah, it means it's hot. I'm ready. I just sewed shoulder slopes and a side seam. I'm going to turn it inside out and then see how it fits my puppet. I just eyeballed it and I'll probably be taking it in on both sides about an inch is what I'm guesstimating. But I left space because space. it's going to expand. <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's a three-dimensional object. It is. Ish. Mostly. I've got a pair here. Fabric ones? Yeah, the oh, little... no, I don't want the little ones. You don't want the little ones, ones sorry. Yes, sorry. I like the little ones. Uh, they may not be back in the case. It might still be in the box full of fabric stuff from Sack Anime. Okay. Well, these ones are here, so... I'll okay, there you ones. go. Those are also fabric scissors, aren't they? Yeah. They're just not the green ones. Yeah, no, yeah. Just but I wanted... Came out of the same package. Yeah. Yeah. You should label them, though. Okay. <laughs> Because you can't be mad at people using your fabric scissors if they're not labeled fabric scissors. All right. Although I have seen people put like locks on their scissors so people can't use them. Oh, okay. And I was like, that's brilliant. That is kind of brilliant. Seems to the back. Uh, Jerry says, if I was to make my own puppet, how would I, how how would you make a beard? Um, piece of fur. Piece of yeah. Yeah, because you get. Puppet scale, you can get a pretty beard, like an inch or two um, nap on a uh, basic fur, cut it in the shape of a beard. Okay. You can get a mustache, and you just got to make sure that you're going with the nap of the fabric. Right, so the hair's hanging down. Hanging down, and then you can get, yeah. Unless you want to look. <laughs> no, I don't think you, there's a beard that you, you really a, want. That you really want with the hair going up. <laughs> like, even if you want it to be a little on the crazy side, you'd probably still... Want it mostly down. Yeah. Going down, yeah. But um, I would suggest using fur. Okay. And you can also use real be Like, <laughs> stick a real beard on there. Stick yeah. a real <laughs> So a fillet knife. And... So, 
I'm gonna line up my side seam with my seam so I know what I'm kind of doing. So I suppose I can just So if I wrap it over just a little bit, it makes blips effectively, right? This is, so that... is it bothering you that it's slightly? So what you can... Well, I don't know if I've got enough spray glue over here because it doesn't seem to want to stay stick at anymore. all. Yeah. Oh, you can just... It's repositionable, so go ahead and give yourself some stick to work with. You know what? I'm going to do this on inside out and pin it and then just follow my pins. Okay. We're crafting, it got quiet. We're crafting, it got quiet. I'm also watching Bruno as he's sniffing all the corners. Like, what is he going to sniff for PR? Exactly. Is he trying to find a target? <laughs> I don't really want yeah. that kind of a present. Starting to look like Pac-Man. Yeah, it is. Waka waka waka. It's yellow. <laughs> but waka 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 is also a fuzzy pear. Okay, is that where I got it from? Not necessarily. Um, it does kind of make that noise, right? Waka 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 is also a noise that is... Fuzzy bear does make, yeah. Fuzzy makes the noise, but it is also the way the, the Pac-Man sound is typically written. Okay. What did you find? What did he find? What do you have? He's got... Um, oh, one of those little glues from those arts little, and crafts kits. Yeah, I don't think you need to eat glue there, sir. No, <laughs> we don't eat glue. No, you don't need to have green glitter glue in your guts. <laughs> crafting. Quiet crafting. Shh, we're crafting. So... Question is, is do I want to take it in on both sides? Yes, I do. Yes, you do. Yes, I do. So I'm I'm putting my pins where I'm going to sew the lines. So I'm kind of deciding if I'm going to put in two side seams. No one's going to see them anyways, and it'll be a good spot to stick in the arms. Yeah. And since I'm doing this inside out, I can slip it out, sew the seams. Oh, okay. Granted, it'll technically be backwards, but whatever. Whatever. It's close enough. Whatever. It's close enough. I'm degloving my puppet. <laughs> Speaking of horror show puppets. There you go. We're skinning puppets today, people. We're adding skin to puppets. <laughs> We're adding skin to puppets. It's smooshing nicely. It is. I'm just getting to where uh, I'm on the backside, which is not as important. That's the yeah. That's the right. If attitude. you don't see it, it doesn't matter. No. You could add all your wrinkles right there. You can even cut out a dart if you needed to. That's what's ended up happening. You could add a dart. Yeah. Perfectly reasonable. This smells like clean laundry. That's good. I definitely appreciate the smell of clean laundry, that is for sure. I'm enjoying the roughness of my calloused hands catching on the towel as much as anything else. <laughs> I 
I definitely notice my hands get sweaty when I work. Oh, okay. Like, you don't notice these little things, like, because most of the time, I'm always getting them messy and dirty, but now that I work with white fabric and delicate things... And you have to be aware of... And when I'm hand sewing with a needle and thread on white, I have to wash my hands before I start because it starts to yellow the thread just from your natural oils and... Yeah? So, yeah. Whole new level of detail. There's, there's times I'm working with different things I put on gloves, not because they're toxic, just because I don't want to wash my hands. It's a lot easier. There, my hands are clean. Or, you know, yeah. They're sweaty because I had gloves on, but they're, you know. Yeah, but it's not sticky or dusty sticky. or. James is letting us know, uh, dudes, it's noon. You need to it's let, noon? You need to let everybody else Already? in. Already? Already wow. it's noon. Time flies when you're having fun. Okay, this looks like crazy person did this. Let me clean up my lines now that we see things. Okay. Edit. Visibility. Public. Done. Are we live live now? Safe. Privacy is set to public. Hi, people. Welcome. We should be live live now. Not that there's anybody new here yet, but... Uh, They'll get here. It'll happen. James Allen says, I'm just north of Yoden. I'm in Washington State. Oh, nice. Awesome. My friend Kira's up in Washington. Bill Duran is in Washington. Punish props. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Bagman says, Babooni. Alex Simmons, hello, legend. Hello, Alex. <laughs> and Yonalith Lightbringer says, Happy Sunday, everyone. Happy Sunday. Spencer Jones, puppets are terrifying. <laughs> yes, they are. They're only yes, going to get are. creepy before they get better. This is true. We're skinning them right now. <laughs> well, adding skin to them. Yes. Today on Odin Makes, we are skinning puppets as we bring them to life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Magic from my hands. Weird science. <laughs> How's your face coming? Uh, I think I'm about faced. Well, let's face it. <laughs> Actually, not bad. So it's a, it's a bit, he's a bit sharpe at the moment. <laughs> he looks like a baby shark. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> well, if they see it at that angle, baby shark. <laughs> so. Thin. Yeah, totally just dart that off. Yeah. Do you want a big pair of scissors? Sure. Yes. Do you want an adult pair of scissors? Do you want a big pair of scissors for the job? Just saying. Hey, that's really cool. Is it coming in an adult size? No. No. Never. so used to the same repetitive motions over and over again that it <laughs> throws me off being in a different machine at the moment <laughs> even right. though this is the one I learned on right <laughs> you know you know this says sings baby shark <laughs> field walker mask says hello from Scotland hello field walker hello in Scotland how are you guys doing this morning or is it evening to you guys uh, Scotland should be evening it's 8, yeah. eight o'clock right 8 p.m. Uh, yeah, Sunday noon. evening yeah. beef curtains says hey Odin and Felicia I love you guys I love watching you every Sunday oh well thank you thank you beef curtains <laughs> <laughs> Odin is enjoying your username I am Schultz division hello everyone Hello. Richard Grant says, hi, Odin and Felicia, you are best. Well, thank you. Yeah, thank you. 
So, it's noon! I haven't done the whole, welcome to the live stream! Uh, God, uh, you, you, you know the drill. Well, most of you should anyway. It is now noon. We've clicked over to being a public live stream and, and allowing everyone to come in. The first 45 minutes of the stream was reserved just for patrons. It was a little quiet today. We got a lot crafting done. But, uh... Still, that's what it's there for. We did a little bit of hellos and backs and forths and talked about Marvel's Daredevil. So if you want, uh, you know, you, uh, those of you watching now could probably back up and catch that. Or if I'm talking to you in the future, you've already seen it. But uh, hello, everyone, and thank you for joining the live stream. And today we're going to continue with making puppets. Yep. We don't know what we're doing. This is no. live. This is us solving the problems before your very eyes. No, we're not doing this the correct way. No, don't no. follow. This is a tutorial. This is not a tutorial. This is a... Yes. This is us making self puppets. Right. <laughs> yeah. And um, it was it was decided almost last minute this morning that skinning my puppet with shop towels just seemed appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mine's with the mini loony bin blanket, so. <laughs> <laughs> the mini loony bin blanket. Yeah. Did you end up putting that on for your patreons? Yeah. Yeah, I made a post on uh, on Patreon about uh, the the actually it's. Is it still over It's here? hanging on the wall. Yeah, next next to um, Rick's portal gun. Oh. It yeah. has a place of honor. It does. <laughs> I'm glad because I'm like, this thing was too much fun to just. Right. Yeah. And uh, so uh, Felicia's able to, who remembered which video it was for, uh, found me the link. And, and I remember watching through it. And it was like at the two minute mark, you've got almost two full screen time seconds of, of the. Uh, <laughs> right. <laughs> All the, the work All for the... just such little split uh -huh. seconds of. But the thing is, is you can go back and watch that video over and over again right. and you get more and more layers of meaning, which yeah. I think is really fun because you don't necessarily notice that he's in a room that's shrinking, like his size and scale are all changing. Right. And it's very subtle and throughout the whole thing that you don't, that it's already over before you even realize it. Right. <laughs> like it's so subtle, isn't it? It is very subtle. Very subtle. And, and I knew it was coming and it was subtle. So <laughs> subtle. It's a lot of work too, <laughs> to get it to be that subtle. Right. I remember. That was the uh, first time uh, I remember meeting Keegan. Really? That, I on think that so. Project? On that project. I think so. Yeah, because I like put him in charge of the mini bed, specifically. Yeah, I remember that. And he came by with this wooden crate full of uh, tiny little wheels and casters that he had collected over the years. Yeah. And he found some mini little wheels that worked and... Yeah, it, that th it was an amazing project. It, I always had yeah. fun on those types of projects. I still do <laughs> when I get the chance. So, yeah. So this is a loony bin blanket from a random project. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Might as well make it into my self-puppet. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. <laughs> That's Felicia. She's skinned in loony bin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I even got to do like electric shock for that video, and I used these old World War II um, earphones. So they okay. were these weird, very right. crazy looking earphones that I had put on the the gauze so that <laughs> you could get it wet to overshock people, and I put it on that. It just really looked like a crazy apparatus. I, you know, research, yeah. it's fun. <laughs> research, exactly. So how did this actually work? <laughs> Pretty much. I need to do that. Probably just needle and thread that one because I'm pulling it off again <laughs> just for that much. We'll see. So. <laughs> Brian Zappa says, big shout out to the jack of all trades and all hail the mighty algorithm. <laughs> All hail the mighty algorithm. All hail the mighty algorithm. Remember to feed it. It gets very hungry. <laughs> Must appease it. <laughs> feed me, Seymour. Feed me now. <laughs> Raphael uh, Naito says, hello from Texas. Hello in Texas. Howdy. Nathan Ertz, evening from South Wales. South of Wales. Yes, evening. Yeah. I want a lacy top. Alex Armstrong says, fun question, are there any props you've made that you've grown out of over the years? So, like, I got too big for them? No, that's not what they mean. Um, How do you want... I, I, I assume the, the, the intent of the question is, uh, are there any props you've made that 
looking back on them now makes us cringe or oh definitely or, or, or 100% just, yeah 100% 100% I've moved I don't on and figured out anymore. better <laughs> techniques but the thing is is I wouldn't have figured out these better techniques had I not done it the absolute worst and hardest way possible pretty much yeah <laughs> right like right. You just kind of have to go through the dredging of the work to realize I never want to freaking do this ever, (laughs) ever again. Not like this. (laughs) Not like this. (laughs) Oh, yeah, that'll be easy. (sighs) Never is. Never is. is. We'll see. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let me just blow a bunch of... uh... It's cordless, so it doesn't get all over the place. Yeah! <laughs> Still my favorite thing. I love my glue gun. Right. I love it so much. So we got you. We got you the one. Yeah, I was told my friend Adrian about it. I was like, I got this glue gun, and I love it. Because she knows how picky I get about right. things. Because we do stuff. We arts and crafts together. She's my buddy that I do it with. Oh, that's cool. Um, And because I just buy the cheap little dollar glue guns you know you get at the dollar store right because there's no point in getting a nice one when they all just kind they're all just gonna break and i've had a hard time but this one is the first one i'm like i love it so much i would totally but i paid full price for it and i would you know but you guys got it for me so i didn't have to but i was willing to i was like their marketing totally worked yeah because i was ready i'm i'm gonna get the rest of the set that's for sure sweet but I like that glue gun, and I'm picky. Even though I use the cheap, shitty ones. <laughs> because I'm picky. I don't really want to spend money on something nice unless it's actually nice. Right. Like, if I'm buying, like, spending, like, an extra $20 on it, I want more than just a pretty pattern. Yes. Decaled onto the outside of my glue gun. Yes, you want something that's going to actually work. And... and then also having glue guns like this. I've had these in the past where they have the um, base where you have to return it to the base Mm -hmm. to be cordless. And one of my biggest pet peeves about those ones is that it takes forever out of your crafting because you're waiting for it to heat up every time you put it down. Right. And I wasn't running into that problem with this one. No, it seems to hold the heat. It, it, well. Yeah. Like, well, because I liked it better than this one. Even though I really like this one and this one, you don't even have to worry about that one particular. Right, because the battery's... Automatic. Part of that one. Yeah, yeah. You don't, you're not taking it away from the heat source and then returning it and waiting for it to heat up. It's constantly hot. But that one, it gets hot. It doesn't, like, it doesn't take my time having to heat up in between. And as somebody who's had to do that and gets annoyed of that, mm-hmm. I haven't dealt with that. So, <laughs> like I said, thank y'all. Enjoying it. Enjoying it. Uh, by the way, this is just... Honest ranting, we're not like, you know, this isn't a paid... No, I (laughs) definitely am very opinionated when it comes to certain crafting supplies. Yeah. Because good tools make a difference in how easy the job happens. I'm not really worried about finishing the back of the head because there is going to be a wig going on. Okay. But I do have to finish the bottom of the face. Finish your face, Felicia. Yeah. One part at a time. Okay. So. What do you see? I can't quite read it from here if that's a T. <laughs> that's a great username. So I can't quite read it from here, says. <laughs> Matic I'm in Kohler says, Hi, Odin. What is your project today? Oh, also, thanks for Shang Chai Ring's idea. Shang Chi Ring's idea? Shang Chi, sorry. Shang Chi? Shang Chi. I could. Sean. Trying it to says, read it from here from yeah. far away. Sorry. But no, you had really good rings. Thank you, yeah. Uh, MH Gamer says, hello, Odin. Hello, MH Gamer. Uh, Strict Aphid, I have acquired coffee. Sweet. What project are you working on? Strict guys, Aphid? Yeah, are you guys working on projects? What, or the sword, right? Yeah, Strict Aphid is working on the sword. The sword. <laughs> with, with, with as much disdain as you can write with, uh, in text. Don't make it with disdain. You see it. <laughs> When you're in a bad mood, it shows in your projects. Take it from somebody who knows. It's true. When I'm having a bad day, things go worse. I have to walk away. It's true. (laughs) You know, even on the days where it's like you have to finish it today, there's no time to not. Can't get stuck on my attitude. (laughs) That's for sure. (laughs) Uh, Alrighty, so uh, 
Matic Ermin Kolar says, if you'll remember, you can call me Matt and not Magic. So that's how to, how to pronounce this. It's not Matic. It's, it, or, or, or it's Matt. just Matt. It's Matt, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, I will not Matic. remember that, but I will try to. Yeah. But I'll be like, Matt. <laughs> Matt. Matt. Um, let's see, Bowden Gamer Boy says, Hey, Odin, how it goes? Hello, it goes. I'm here, I'm doing the thing. Thank you for showing up. Yeah, welcome, everybody. Uh, Vaughn Lutland says, Hello, Odin, and pretty Felicia from South Africa. Fantastic to see you, awesome guys, and a great channel. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, look, it, they're right in the dog camp spot where we don't have a dog camp. We don't camp. have a dog camp today, no, because they, they weren't have... behaving last week. Are they behaving, or are they... Yeah, they're behaving. They're just playing right there. All right. Mm. Yeah. Bruno likes to eat Toby. He doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't like to eat Toby? <laughs> I walked over here and they all, they got excited. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I really like the way that looks if I do it that way. Okay. That is definitely going to happen. <laughs> so, Strict Babe, it says... The Master Sword! Yes, you have to make that with love. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. If you are not in love with the project while you're working on it, walk away and come back when you are. <laughs> I have not made the Master Sword yet. <laughs> yes, it needs to be made with love, though. Yeah, it does need to be made with love. Not saying that you don't. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, straight to me, it has no love. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know. There's times with my attitude, I just have to check it. If I'm not happy, it's not going to turn out good. <laughs> yeah. Many years to learn that lesson. Right. Ooh. Ooh. What do you see that's ooh? People are saying interesting things. It's just it's moving before I have a chance to actually oh, okay. start the sentences. Right. That's, that's, that's. Can you maybe do the Mandarin Ten Rings from the comics or the Iron Man cartoon series? The ones that go on the fingers? That's kind of a 3D print project, isn't it? I mean, it well, can, but. You were kind of. Against tiny props. <laughs> I was kind of against tiny props, yeah. Because they're a little too tiny. A little, a little bit. They're hard to shoot. <laughs> I mean, little, little tiny props are fun because they're over quick, but... But at the same... Usually. Sense, yeah. I feel... Yeah. Rings yeah. are a difficult one. Joshua Percy says, Would you consider making a video where you make the Peacemaker helmet? I'd be willing to consider it, and I'd consider it even harder if I, could knew a, a, if I knew a reasonable way to get that kind of a chrome look on anything. Like anything. Right? Because <laughs> all clad can do it, right? We make, if we make the, the helmet out of uh, a harder plastic and, and, and go through the work, we can get it to look almost that super chrome with all clad. But it's still not going to be that powder coat, crazy 50s chrome that Peacemaker's helmet is. <laughs> right? Yeah. So... It's kind of like those all or nothing at the moment. Like, you just can't. Kind of. Yeah. I mean, I I saw some of the trailers because um, Peacemaker's one of the characters from the new, new The Suicide Squad movie, right? Yeah. And he's going to have his own series on HBO, which looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because, um, yeah, the, they're not taking the character seriously, which is great. And... Um, <laughs> Ooh, James Allen says, I'm trying to figure out the straps for my coffin backpack. Well, are you making them for scratch or are you cannibalizing another backpack? Because they always have great straps. I like going to thrift stores where the bags are real cheap and finding something interesting in leather <laughs> and then using yeah those. But there's lots of ways to do straps, like a million ways. There's a million ways to do straps. Oh my gosh, that looks so much better than I thought it would. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I, I see what you did. Yeah, so I did it right along the edge. So and then, then fold it over. Yeah, so that I have a finished edge versus this edge that's not as pretty. Okay. But all those microfibers. <laughs> yes. It seemed like a great idea. <laughs> oh, I stole the good scissors. Use the good ones. You'll appreciate it. I know those get right in there, though. This is that's more what it is for me right now. Is is the the, the you only thing would make this better is if I had curved scissors. <laughs> Applique scissors. Yeah. So, I've been wanting a pair of those, like the good ginger kinds. And applique scissors are like regular scissors, but they have this weird little fin that uh -huh. kind of flings out from them. And you go, what am I going to ever use those for? But when you're cutting out foam, fi fabrics, and other things, like you really need to get right close to this 
edge, but you need to lift it up a little bit. Applique scissors, that little piece just holds your fabric up so you can get right in there. Okay. To do exactly what you're doing. It kind of, it has that extra little, yeah, it's hard to explain, but when it's not there and you know you can't, it can be. <laughs> you know it can be. Then you miss just, it. Yeah. So. Where's my thing? <laughs> So I do appreciate, as odd as this sounds, I do appreciate that the cordless um, hot glue gun gets hot enough to give me a second degree burn. Right? Yeah. No, I <laughs> love it. It's a weird thing to say, but... <laughs> no, but if it's the hot glue... I hate the low temp hot glue guns. <laughs> like, I know they're the safe ones and... Like Felicia insisted upon them, you know, the yeah. little temp ones, because, you know, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. It but does. You don't wait as long for them to cool, but... I like the ones that get hot, stay yeah, hot, and yeah. can burn you. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Not for children. No. Hmm. Now I want to do this one like that one. And I uh, totally can, because I still have more fabric. There you go. At least I'm I seeing, thought I did. There you go. I'm seeing advancements on the uh, on the chat box. Let's see what people are saying. sucked um uh marcus schumacher is asking if uh we got a chance to watch dc fandom yesterday i did not but i've watched some of the trailers since like, you know, black adam and and i've watched the flash trailer a few times now but uh that's fun um colby's asking us to make the headless horseman's pumpkin head remember Ooh, my dad doing one. that with a pumpkin I've seen lately that people making pumpkin heads to wear. Right. <laughs> Those have been fun trend. I'm gonna get some contacts tonight. How's the Pac-Man coming? The inside waka, of the waka, mouth waka, looks waka. nice. Yeah. That fuzz mm -hmm. gives you a good little finished edge. Looks like he's got a do rag on, but I'm afraid to cut it. Cut You're it. getting nervous. Well, I want to cut it short if we end up needing to sew to it. It'd be nice to have, you know. Yeah, you don't have to cut it right away either. Also, have you thought about hair yet? Briefly. What were you thinking? Super briefly. Uh, foam. <laughs> You're gonna make a foam hair like a Superman hair. Right. Yeah. Do it. Do it. <laughs> I was gonna just, say there's a little just bit just of straight foam and just kind of pinch the edges and just sort of make yeah. You know. <laughs> Do it. I want to see that. Right. I'm not even gonna tell you what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, what Technically, were you thinking? it was easier. Oh, of course it was. Yeah. And there's <laughs> some fur right over there. It's slightly the wrong color, but I'm like, we could just do a little fur and then we could part it. Sure, we can no, do that. No, I want to see the foam. <laughs> I, like I said, we're not doing my idea. No. Nope. <laughs> I want to see this. You want to see this? I'll probably cringe and hate it, but all right. Oh, what's Steve talking about? He's talking about a material. What is he talking about? Uh, he's using an acrylic spray from a company called Ambersil. I seem to be able to polish it quite well to get a good chrome shine. Oh, oh okay. nice. Uh, do you think that would be good on top of the Robin buff? Or That's still not a chrome shine, though. That's not a chrome that's shine. Definitely that's definitely not a, a chrome. That's a good shine. That's a good metallic, but that's not, not a, a good it's shine. Not chrome. No. Yeah. Chrome is a very specific. It is. Yeah. Uh, Bernie Davis says, hello, Odin and Felicia. I just want to stop by to say hello. Hello. But they have to go to work, so I'll have to catch the play back of the stream later. So, well, hello to you now if you're still here, and if you're not, then hello to you later. Yeah, in the future. In the future. We saw your comment. Yes, thank you, Bernie. All right, I'm going to do it. 
Uh, Michael wants to know if anything from the DC fandom trailers that was added to the list. <laughs> was there? Not yet. Not yet? Not, no, not, not yet. Not that I can what remember. What seems Nothing. fascinating from that trailer? Is there anything that's like... Ooh, oh, like... the Flash movie is totally fascinating to me. I, I mean, know, but prop-wise. Um, I didn't really see anything prop-wise. Exactly. That really made me get excited. Other than it was fun watching him take a stencil and spray paint his Flash, flash logo onto his own boots. <gasps> ooh, Flash boots. <laughs> yeah, Flash boots. Could this be the prequel to the Billy the Puppet build? <laughs> uh, Brian Zappa says, Thank you, Bernie Davis. Someone has to get the money for all the coffee and electricity. <laughs> Bagman tells us, Happy Necron <laughs> Necrontober. <laughs> yes, it is October. It is, yes, it it is, is National Dress Up Month. It is National Dress Up Month. Okay. National Dress Up Month. Well, yeah, because October, I honestly, when I coached gymnastics, I would dress up as something different every day when I coached. Okay. So, for the whole month. Right. At least the week before, for sure. But, yeah, no, it's National Dress Up Month. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. when you find all the costumes in the costume shops. Right. We had these random stores that only open during this time of year. Right. That specifically... The ones that get into the, the, spirit. the spirit of Halloween. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes, it is the time of year, and it has been strangely calm for me, and I've been appreciating that. As oh. crazy as things are. As crazy as things are, for you. This Normally, I get a lot more costume requests, but right now I have to step back. Right. So, it is what it is, but it's been nice. It's looking good. <laughs> are those the same, shape, the same shade? They have to be, because they're from the same... Yeah, they are. This one's the one that's... That one's a little different. How different? Yeah. It's a different enough for a nose? Yes. Different. Yeah. That's a good and maybe, nose, Kelly. And maybe an eye, eyelids, too. Ooh, there you go. This is the piece I was looking for. What I like is the, it's still the, the, the wonky kind of primary color the Sesame Street uh, puppets were. Right. We could do skin tone. That'd be creepier. I was, you know, I was, were think, you thinking, I was thinking, yeah, you know, peach color or something. So, no, this works great. You do go very literal in your brain very, when you make things. It, yeah. Yeah, you have to create exact copies. Um, yeah, I like that, yes. And I'm always like, well, I want to do it my way. Yeah. Let's do something <laughs> different. Why can we can make it funky? <laughs> so, yeah, makes sense. Month of the Necron. Yes. Yeah, it does make sense. No, it's great. And, and, and I appreciate it. I appreciate the different views. And I appreciate the different ideas. Um, generally, I'm trying to make a replica. So. <laughs> Right? I, I set my whole show up around the style that I like to do, which is making replicas. Which completely works. Which completely works. Uh, Aldo says a Captain America puppet would be awesome. Uh, Thomas Ledbetter just joined, so someone might have already asked this, but uh, Batman trailer thoughts? Ooh. No one's asked about Batman trailer thoughts no, yet. No, not yet. Um, there's a lot of exciting things coming out, aren't there's, there? There is a lot of exciting things coming out. Uh, I do like the fact that uh, they're doing basically year two, right? How many times have we seen a Batman origin story? You know, all of them. How many times have, you know, right? Uh, so that's that's kind of fun. Um, I'm still not convinced of the Batmobile. I bet it's going to be really cool to see it in context in the movie, but right now it's just a monster muscle car, kind of. Well, and the billion play, billionaire playboy got to design a little his own Batmobile. Yeah, it's right. gonna be some kind some of some kind of thing. Yeah, <laughs> it's a start. Yeah, you know, he has access to whatever he wants. Right, I am excited that they're going with a different villain that they haven't had on screen since the Adam West movie, right? Oh, no, I guess there was that Jim Carrey atrocity. Uh, so maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, the Tim well. Burton version? Uh, well, that wasn't Tim Burton. That no, was, that's, that sorry, was, uh, yeah. Joel Schumacher, uh, you know, yeah. appeasing the, uh, the McDonald's uh, Happy Meal toys requests by changing the look of the Tim Burton movies. But... Um, yeah. yeah. Basically, Riddler is, 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 the, is the main villain, and it looks like it's going to be the dark, you know, Joker style Riddler, Riddler, one that would actually be a threat as opposed to somebody in a green leotard. We had both, we had that outfit at the costume. Oh, yeah. Shop. Oh, yeah. sure. Rented. Oh, oh, totally. Yeah. I like the suit better. Yeah. So much better. It was easier to convince a guy you want to be a Batman villain. Here. here, put on the question mark suit versus this questionable leotard. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Red did that 
few times. I'm sure. Uh, Richard Grant is excited about Black Adam. Watch the Black Adam trailer. I don't know really anything about the character, which is probably going to make the movie better for me. But um, that was an interesting trailer. I didn't realize Black Adam was... Is he an anti-hero? <laughs> so, that could be fun. Uh, I'm not making specifically a Pac-Man puppet. I'm just... We're, we're kind of making basic puppet versions of ourselves. And we're making self-puppets. Self-puppets. And it was decided that Shock Claws was going to be a fine skin for mine. <laughs> yeah. And sure, why not? <laughs> because puppets are people color, right? Puppets are always just people color. They're never anything else. Yeah. Ever. Never, ever, ever. All right. Like this. But I changed everything up, so now I have to change everything up. You changed everything up, so now you have to change everything up. Yeah, pretty much. Never going to change you up? Never going to... Well, I finished the mouth edge a little bit better, so now then I have to build up my Rice Krispie Treat Oops. again. Oh, uh, okay. You know what I mean? I got spray in the inside of the mouth. There we go. Sticky. making some progress so Be it very, gets quiet. very quiet okay so uh, I was wearing my um, Flatwoods monster shirt again again today because I was cleaning up my desk a little bit and uh, I came across the little packet of guitar picks oh man come on <laughs> right that's what I just <laughs> It's like dealing with Toby, I mean, with, with Bruno. <laughs> Hold still so I can actually do something. <laughs> to make your life a little easier. Thank you. Um, I'm wondering if we should cut this and use fold it under for your straight line. Sure. But definitely do it on the bias. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but where are the scissors? Oh, I'm hiding them right there. Go. But I was uh, amused by the idea that um, Jesse, who's 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 in the shop today, he's the guy that did the the, the music for the Mighty Mo Mighty Fomonod makes uh, intro, right? Uh, I was like, oh, I should give him the Flatwoods Monster guitar picks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he would appreciate them. I think he would. I think he'd get a kick out of them. Where it's not going to get in the air. <laughs> right. Uh, Fred's asking specifically about the Punisher vest, you know, because I went off about guns. Oh, yeah. Right. That's a d no, that's not a gun. No, the vest is not a gun. Mm-hmm. Um, Gotham, talking about the Gotham Knights trailer and that the Gotham TV show, uh, I'm reading two different things here that are sort of related but not. Uh, recommend checking out... Alex Armstrong recommends checking out the Gotham Knights trailer. The Court of Owls mask looks sick. Uh, the Thomas Hughes TV says also the Gotham TV show had the, had the Riddler. So, of course, I was trying to say movies, but yeah. Because I know Riddler's appeared in a lot of different... Um, he is a character for sure. He is a character for sure. Yes. So you want me to... I need to go right side down against the edge of the lips. This I'm first going to just uh, hot glue on, right? And then then pull it over. There's a million wrong ways to do anything. Yeah, well, let me do this wrong this way. Let okay. me do it wrong my way, dang it. There you go. Quit correcting me. I didn't. No, you didn't. Everything. Right, this right. <laughs> Not... Totally doing this wrong way because I'm just 
following the edge, and I'm gonna have a lot of uh, slack fabric to deal with, maybe. Like this? Well, I don't mind that. I just worried about um, uh, this part. Yeah, wrinkles around the around the chin. It's on the bias, so you should be able to pull it. Okay. That's why I did it, cutting off a triangle. Right. Because this is where the stretchiest part of the fabric is, is on the bias. On the bias. Yeah. The fabric does not stretch this way, and it does not stretch this way. You right. can tell which one's the warp and which one's the weft by the sound. This is the warp. This is the weft. Oh, there's definitely a tone difference. Yeah, because yeah, the stronger one got a higher pitch. Goes up and down. Those are the stronger th threads. Okay. And then the weft that goes left to right are the weaker threads, and they're not as loud. So if you want to know which direction your fabric are, you can. Interesting. I wonder the microphone can pick up the, the Interesting, right? This is the warp. And this is the weft. I don't know. We'll see if they can Interesting. tell. But then the bias, it just stretches. Look at right. that stretch. It's a lot of stretch. So. Oh, look at it. It can curl all the way up over itself. Beek boo. <laughs> <laughs> but, um. Different properties of fabric that usually fight against you, unless you know what they are. <laughs> right. I'm noticing a Discord. Strict aphid is uploading. Work in progress of his master sword. Oh, nice. Yeah, very cool. With this giant thing of barge cement. <laughs> I shouldn't have used black thread. Oh, no, well. you should not have. <laughs> no, especially since this is going to be seen. I'm still using it, though. <laughs> because you can't be bothered to change it now. Well, technically I could, but yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Save in the spot where I thought I saved it. There it is. Like, how much effort do we want to go through to try and show off Strict Aphid's work in progress on his Master Sword? That much effort. That much effort. A lot. <laughs> Looking good. I, I don't know where, uh, so Brian Zappo is talking to Von Ludlin. I don't know where the, the, it's coming from. I'm not. Where the conversation started. Right. But at this point, he says, well, for that, check out B the BBC. It's the Bruno Butt Cam. <laughs> Camera three right there. Camera three. 
Toby's telling him to be more appropriate. He's, he's the star of the show. Right, it's just me. People are here to see me. <laughs> and I'm gonna chew on something on the floor. It's plastic wrap. Toby, no. Toby, no. Go boy, thank you. <laughs> Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> wag, 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 wag. It's the Bruno Butt Show. It's the Bruno Butt Show. Yeah, and it's not our show, it's his butt show. Oh, uh, it's totally his butt show. At least it's not my butt show. <laughs> Think. Yeah. Let me see how this is going to turn out. A motorcycle outside, and I totally thought it was a phone buzzing on the table. <laughs> yeah, not today. Not today. So, yes, the um. Gluing it down and, and peeling it over is absolutely the right right way to do it. That looks right? really, Doesn't it look really clean. clean. Yeah, yeah. Looks that very... looks really clean. Yeah, you have to do it the wrong way to realize how like, yeah, to get the best. Exactly. <laughs> There's a better way to do it. Really? You sure? Nah. Right side. Okay, so now we've got a Got a seam to put together on the face. That seems doable. Hopefully. You ever wonder how I got these scars? <laughs> Henry Jarvis. Hello, Odin, my good friend. Hello, Henry. Awesome. Us. Is Odin making Pac-Man? Well, just because he's yellow, sure, with a black interior mouth. No, it's... Waka waka. Waka waka waka. It'll it'll be different once he has eyes and nose. Right now, yeah, he's totally Pac-Man. He is so Pac-Man. He's so so Pac-Man. In a good way. Yeah. So hey, what are you making right now? Says Masa. Uh, Pac-Man apparently. <laughs> um, and uh, Joseph Burrito Hernandez is saying, "Are you interested in wood burning art besides props?" Uh, I, I enjoy wood burning art. I, I, I enjoy art, a lot of different uh, art styles and art things. Mm -hmm. I haven't done wood burning since Boy Scouts. So you it's do just foam not, burning. I do foam burning, yeah, but I don't, uh, that's not a, a technique that I've really worked on. I've used your wood burner to wood burn wood. I made a baseball game that you play with dice. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah, that piece of board. Yeah. I made the little things, yeah. And I was. Yeah, you were like, I don't usually use that for wood. I don't use it for wood, no. <laughs> yeah. I'm making sandwiches. So, Stephen, uh, <laughs> man, I'm saying it right. No, I'm saying it wrong. So, Stephen is saying that uh, posted a link on Discord to the Ambrosil Chrome paint that I use. I also use Ambrosil's contact adhesive L7 gel as I find it easier and quicker to use than liquid contact adhesive. Alrighty. Gotta take a look at that. Material sources. I wonder if you can melt like a piece of chrome plastic over, you know, heat it. Uh, it'll totally destroy the chrome. Totally, I can see that happening. Yeah. That's why. Makes sense. Ember still. Welcome. Uh, just, there it is. Oh, okay, so I was wondering what uh, it is a UK based. So I don't know if I can even get anything over here. Probably can. Products. Transfer to color protection for PCBs. High temperature corrosion. Nice. Ooh, is that a new fun toy to play with? This could be a lot of fun to play with, yes. <laughs> it's not something I need to put a whole lot of look in, looking into right now because no one wants to watch the live stream of Odin browsing the internet. <laughs> Q 
Garen Bowes says, Odin, who are you making? Well, I'm sort of working on uh, a puppet version of myself. As much as I can. We are making self-puppets. Self-puppets. And you're ending up being very Pac-Man. And it's a Pac-Man right now. Yep. Very much. Very, <laughs> very Pac-Man. Uh, gotta feed it cherries. Arf, arf, arf. Seems like I can just sew the edges together and it's going to be okay. Yeah, you can even just hand sew it with a needle and thread so you don't even have That's to try and smoosh it. probably a better plan, although I generally... Not my favorite style of sewing! <laughs> needles, threads. Needles, threads. Yeah, you think you don't want to, but sometimes it just is so much faster just to get in there when it's something like that. Right. There is a sewing machine right here with all the wrong colors on it. Oh, nice. It's Joseph Wrong Colors Technica. What? All the wrong colors. All the wrong colors. Dominic, can, uh, Dominic says, hello, Odin. How's your day? Hi, I'm doing pretty good. How are you? I'm doing the live stream thing, which is actually always enjoyable there was a um, there's a while there at the beginning of doing the live streams i actually had a good chunk of uh, stage fright and i had apprehension over doing it yeah and um, also the whole not having everything prepared before we started bothered you it did didn't it yeah yeah like you wanted to do all the prep work before we started the live stream <laughs> yeah like can we get this done? and i'm like but then what are we going to do on the show right <laughs> that's right i forgot about that yeah it's it's time has flown. Time has flown. Um, I look forward to the live stream anymore, and I and I enjoy the fact that it is seat of the pants and thinking uh, on. Oops. Yeah, I've, I've, I'm 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 working on everything else during the week, and the live stream's coming, and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> it's even been a couple of weeks since you gave a phone call. Uh, I was like, all right, so what do you want to do this time? <laughs> Done that on occasion too, just to. Yeah. Uh, an attempt to figure out what's going on or or how to how to maybe solve a problem that's going to pop up yep yeah <laughs> and and just to let everyone in in on it our plans for what we're going to do immediately after we're done with the puppets no idea yeah it's like <laughs> i don't know i i know i gave you like three different things that we could do yeah, I don't remember even right now. <laughs> yeah. My brain is... Is not there. No. All the projects. Although, we do have something special coming up at the end of the month. Right. There's that, that whole Halloween that. thing coming up here. Yeah. So... If they're interested. So, are... So, Felicia, are you interested in doing, like, this multiple stream thing? Or you just want to do just the Sunday stream and... As close to Halloween as it gets. What day does Halloween throw, fall on this year? The 31st! I know, but what day of the week? Oh, the one that ends in Y. Um, well, Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but that means there's going to be two streams. Or we could just Well, that's do just one. it. Do we want to do two streams? It's Sunday, uh, which means... Um, you know, Halloween is going to be on uh, on a work night for most people, and we're at the end of the day cycle, so the majority of the people are already nighttime, anyways. Yeah, or are going to be heading heading off to work on Monday. Okay, well. So we may not want to do a a midnight, unless you want to do a Saturday one that brings in Halloween. Hmm. But maybe we just do Halloween Day. Halloween Day, but we make do the thing that I was telling you about? Yeah, because I like the thing that you were talking about. That sounds like a fun idea. Should we tell them what that thing is? Um, it's that thing. So we're talking about uh, last year was the last time that we had done a tour of the studio uh, during the Halloween stream. And so we're thinking about doing the same thing again this year. But uh, in order to tie it into something else that's going on, you were talking about doing a Minecraft torch build. 
Yeah. And then using that as... Um, then doing a torch-lit tour a of, torch the lit tour of the media center. A torch-lit tour of the media center. Which, there aren't too many windows, so that could still work. <laughs> so This tiny little thumb didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I'm going to have to turn it back inside out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't think I have. So, anyways, on Halloween, we wanted to do a tour of the media center here, and then also possibly do... Give a tour of the Minecraft server to you. Right. That just depending on how technology works in our favor or not. <laughs> Thank you for keeping us on track. <laughs> I know it's easy to get off when you're distracted. I'm distracted with sewing and just yeah. Yeah, but we do want to do something fun on National Dress Up Day. So right. we're going to dress up. We're going to have fun, and then we're going to end the party on the Minecraft server. So if you are part of the patrons who are on the Minecraft server, make time to be there on Halloween and we'll all hang out. Yeah. <laughs> if you can and if want you can. to. So, Halloween. Halloween. Advexen is here with a $5 super chat. Woo! Halloween kills. Actually brought people to the movies. Suck it, streamers. <laughs> little girl walks by a poster. Hi, Jason. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I was always a, a more of a Michael Myers fan than a than a Jason Voorhees fan. I mean, Jason ended up being a lot of fun when when they kind of were being a little more goofy with him in the later movies, but still, I don't know. I like Michael Myers. Probably just a bias. I like John Carpenter movies, so yeah. Oh, and speaking of of movie things. Uh, just today, thank you, Reddit, um, I found a YouTube channel, um, uh, now I'm forgetting the name of the channel, which isn't going to do anybody any good, but it is a channel that is run by S.S. Wilson. S.S. Wilson is the writer for Tremors, <laughs> and he found a whole bunch of old videotape and old, uh, production footage for the making of the film. Yeah, and there's so there's stuff I've never seen before with them. Um, uh, just home home video, the the end of the movie when the graboids are running around under the ground and and, and they're you know they're it's the end of the movie, right? Mm -hmm. Well, he was showing exactly how they did that cartoon groundhog bulge, but they did it for the movie to, in order to show the worms moving around. Mm -hmm. And they had dug out a trench and it was all walled up with with plywood so the so the uh, dirt wouldn't wouldn't cave in. They put sheets of rubber over it. And they literally drug a, a boat buoy underneath it because it had kind of a bullet shape. So as it passed under the under the rubber, it would cause a mound. Yeah. And it would just push up with all the dirt and stuff that was on it, then it would come back down again. I and love they, those they pulled it with a truck. <laughs> I love those kind of challenges so much. So he's got 15 episodes of of, of just weird little snippets. things and snippets of you know. From writing the movie to making the tentacle puppets you guys talk about to all sorts of stuff. It's like, yeah, I got a YouTube channel I can go binge here at some point. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's one of those things I've read about how they did that before. It was neat seeing the video for it. No, I, I always have loved those behind the scenes when DVDs started coming out with all the extras and stuff. Yeah. Oh, totally love that shit. Yep. Like I said, I I don't even remember, but I loved watching that Jim Henson behind the scenes, you know? It's like, Polar Fleece was kind of like this miracle puppet fabric. Like, yes, yes it yes, is. Yes, it is. <laughs> Connor Cook just says, Hello to Odin and Felicia. And Odin, perfect shirt for Halloween. <laughs> right. All right, I suppose I need to wear monster shirts for the rest of the month. Like, that's not going to be, like, that'll be hard. Half my shirts are monster shirts, but. Right. Way to get into the season. Thank you. Yes. I'm kind of excited that Halloween's on Sunday. Yeah. I think that's going to be fun for our tour. I think it will be. That means next year it'll be on Monday, right? But 
will it? Yeah, if I remember right, um, the we just had uh, a leap year, so I can't remember if that messes it up. But um, I believe the calendar days for where things fall uh, advance each year, right? So this this year around it's on Sunday, so next year around it should be on Monday. Year after that it should be on Tuesday. I think they advance forward. I think. I noticed I noticed that years ago, and but I had quit paying attention to it because it wasn't important. Uh, I have one arm. Oh, nice. <laughs> Working on it. Slowly. You have one arm and some fashion. Oh, yeah. And a cute little sweater. It's all blown out with the, how bright the white is, but whatever. <laughs> right. Well, it's also that. That's a cheap monitor, so it's, uh, it looks brighter than it actually is. Oh. They might be able to see the, the, the texture of the, of the lace. Where did this come from? The floor? Right, maybe. It looks like a uh, piece paint. of the foam that I was uh, cutting up from my nose last week. Oh, there you go. Probably just stuck on something. Right. Hopefully my nose is around here somewhere. <laughs> Let me see. Let me go for I think I preferred the zigzag. Yeah. That way I can. Definitely catching. Because if I catching. have a straight line, then I'm not necessarily... Because the front and back. Anyways. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, Optimus Phillips says, yep, that's how it goes for common years, but leap years throw it off. Okay, good. I suppose three out of four is common years, so... <laughs> the <coughs> common years. Those, those common years. Common years. We got Freddy versus Jason, so where's Michael versus Jason? I think I'd rather see Michael versus Freddy. Do we really want to have Michael versus Jason? I mean, it'd sort of be like watching uh, Gordon Freeman and Shell from, from Portal star in a movie together. They're both mute. <laughs> or, you know... Jason's mute. Michael Myers is mute. Gordon and, and Shell may not be mute. They just may not say anything in the games because that way the player is the voice of the characters, right? Oh, there That's you not go. really. It's kind of joked about that Shell might be mute because the robots make fun of her. But um, I, I don't think it's really canon that she's specifically mute. Hmm. The more you know, right? The more you know. Oops, I did not catch that bit. Brian is asking what kind of a black t-shirt will Fluffy pu Puppet Odin wear? Um, we'll we probably were... make a black polo. I don't think we'll be making a black polo, which I'm totally down for. Because I feel like a black polo is very much your look. Yeah, kind of is. I was having fun on DIY Prop Shop with wearing different shirts. Uh, but I ran across a couple that, you know, were the Chinese extra, extra large and... Those did not fit the way I wanted it to. <laughs> so, and also to try and separate my channel from DIY Prop Shop a little bit, I settled on a look very quickly. You have a costume. I have a costume. So Makes it easy. If you want to cosplay as Odin, you wear... A pocketless black collared uh, polo t-shirt. And some shorts. <laughs> and some shorts. Usually shorts, yep. I will, I, will, I will end up wearing pants when it gets to be about January. <laughs> you know, once it gets cold enough that you can see your breath, <laughs> which is about as cold as it gets around here. It's never, it is never cold by any other, any other metric by anybody anywhere else, but there's a point when it gets cold enough here. <laughs> right. Odin is making flat, uh, flat Eric from MTV, if anyone remembers. I do not. I do not remember Flat Eric. Oh, cool. So the Hellraiser box, because there's a reboot coming. That's something Bruce Marvel 88 is talking about. You know, I've looked at the, uh, the Hellraiser box a few times. There is a lot, a little detail and scribe lines that go into that box. And I've tried my... 
my home vinyl color cutter is not willing to make those cuts. <laughs> it so messes it, started it up. started um, Yeah, so more than once I've started trying to make the, the Lament configuration, the Hellraiser box. And um, I was probably using the, the vinyl cutter wrong, but it very quickly just went to hell. <laughs> Sean Karg says, I live in Ohio and I don't own any shorts. It's okay. He also wears pants. You can yeah, wear jeans. You wear jeans too. Just saying. Ooh, Steven says, I just found some Tesco custard creams in the cupboard. Yummy. <laughs> Jerry Props. Well, how about Jason versus Michael Myers versus Freddy versus Ash from the Evil Dead? Versus dinosaurs. Versus dinosaurs. Riding dinosaurs. <laughs> Um, there's a comic series that did that, that pitted all those characters together. Maybe not all four of them at the same time, but there was definitely a big crossover between a lot of those characters. And I think overall Ash won. But, um, I don't quite remember. Oh, look what? at Eoloneth keeping us up on our stuff. It's almost 1 p.m. Do you have any mail or art to share? Do we? I think we do. Oh, yeah, some very, very exciting mail. Okay, that's, that's being a little, a little much. Mean. A little much. No, we actually, I actually did receive a couple of packages this week. Because it's 1 p.m. is the time that I like to open up viewer mail. Uh, and it is actually viewer mail. Um, because the, uh, the, people who, uh, the people who represent Ryobi mm -hmm. have actually been watching. Ooh. And saw our, our rant about the hot glue gun uh, a couple My of weeks ago. My opinionated. Your opinionated rant. <laughs> So I opened one of them up because it was like, I don't remember ordering this. What is this? And they sent three packages of Ryobi brand mini glue sticks. Yeah, I'm holding it upside down. There we are. So, yes, would you like a uh, package or, 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 or two or whatever of some? Because I remember these worked really well. Yeah, that's what I was wondering because there's the ones that are the low heat, high heat ones that can go either way. Yeah. And I was kind of wondering if, because one of the glue guns that I bought that I really didn't like. Right. It melted here. Oh. But this isn't even hot near here, so I, it's no. not going to melt there. But because it was a low temp glue, get, glue sticks, right. it made a mess. And I, I was hating my life. And I'm like, ooh, please be high temp. But it doesn't say either way. It doesn't say. But they are a harder glue stick. I've, I've seen yeah, some that are, good... uh, that, are, that are softer where uh -huh. the, 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 the feeder just kind of chews up the end of the glue stick and yeah. doesn't advance it. Yeah, those ones tend to be the low temp ones. Low temp ones, okay. Yeah, but. So this package, I think, has more glue sticks. It feels like glue sticks. Glue sticks! It's glue sticks! And those are the big ones for the big ones. And those are the big ones for the big guns. And that is, and that is everything in the bag. But no, that's. Um, Thank you. That's actually really cool. So, so yeah. Ryobi, uh, thank you very much. I definitely appreciate. Yeah, I think you need at least one of these for yours, right? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fine. Thank you very much for for feeding the glue guns. That's very cool. Yeah, actually, we need a new one. We do need a new one, don't we? Yeah. No, yeah. I am thoroughly enjoying their maker kit because it's like the. It is very much for crafting. You, yeah. I usually think of their stuff as for more. I'm doing a construction project. I'm building right. a set. I'm making kind of. Yeah, things. I'm used to seeing these on set all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm fully enjoying their crafting line because all these little things, like the little Dremel, this thing, it's great. Right. Yes, I really like that one. <laughs> this one. The cheaper one. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one because there's two different Dremel models, and. Um, yeah, the, the slightly more compact versions of these are just like the right yeah. size. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm definitely probably going to go out and buy some more of the set. Cool. <laughs> Finish off my collection of it. Aha, oh, I have a little hand. High five. <laughs> I think it looks cute. All right, now to make fingers. So thank you, Yana. I actually was trying to watch the clock as well, but appreciate that that that, that you're I'm, keeping us on track. I love that you guys know the track better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite give myself enough 
Oh, it'll be all right. It'll stretch over and be fine. Uh, you are still on the bias, so there is that. Yes, it's true. Well, they're, they're still having fun with, with all sorts of cross crossovers. Like, uh, we got Freddy versus Jason and Myers versus Jigsaw's House of Torture. <laughs> oh, I did dress up like that for Halloween one year. It was so much fun because I got to go around at the party hanging out on my own tricycle. Right. <laughs> it was so much fun. No matter I where you went, you had a seat. <laughs> yes, very much so. It was a lot, a lot of fun. I never saw the movie, but <laughs> it was That's definitely fine. fun to dress up as. <laughs> It was a great, I don't remember if it was Saturday Night Live or I don't remember which. Yeah. Yeah, where, where he gets hired as a, as a temp somewhere for an for advertising agency or something. So he's riding around the office in his, tri his tricycle. Yeah. He gets in the elevator. Uh, could, could you get floor three, please? <laughs> yep. So somebody had dressed up that as that at the costume shop. Uh -huh. And they had returned their costume, and I had a party that night, and I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm just going to wear this. I have this tuxedo that fits me perfectly. <laughs> and these little shoes that were like, oh, perfect. The, the saddle shoes, they uh -huh. looked too perfect. Oh, okay. You know, like I was wearing a children's like tuxedo. It was adorable. And then there was a tricycle, and then at the party, I hung out with Osama Bin Laden and Princess Leia. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> it was a fun party. It was a fun costume, but yeah, I didn't see the movie, and I felt slightly guilty the entire party being something I didn't know what it was fully, other than I wanted a tricycle. Right. Well, you know, I, I, I haven't watched everything I made props from, so I get it. It's okay. I have got to watch Squid Game. <laughs> Not that I'm against it, I just yeah. haven't stopped to take the time to do it. I don't like scary things. Shh, don't tell. Okay, I won't tell. You know, Hocus Pocus is as scary as it gets for me. Oh, right. Yeah, the makeup of that one's pretty scary. Yeah. Oh, my fingers. I made fingers. You did make fingers. So I do remember seeing Hocus Pocus in the theater, and I really enjoyed the zombie. Yeah. You know, just for, I for whatever his reason. Sewed lips. Yeah. It turns out that's Doug Jones. That's that's uh. That's that's the uh, uh, Mac the Night guy. That's the that's the uh, that's Abe Sapien. That's the Commander Saru. That's you know he's he's he's. So you might be a fan. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Super nice guy. Oh no! No, don't do that. Just smoosh it, not in the thing. You're not gonna smoosh it on. No, I have to smoosh it here because it's too thick for inside of the sewing machine. Gotcha. Yeah. Thought I could, but I couldn't, so now I'll yeah, so. try. Oh, sweet. Sean Karg says, the last time I went out for Halloween, I dressed up as Alex from the Clockwork Orange. <gasps> that one's a good I one. I even made the eyeballs for the cufflinks. That's cool. That's a fun detail. That is a fun detail. Bart Simpson was that one year for one of the Treehouse of Horrors. I remember doing a, a group costume for, for Clockwork Orange. Only three of us showed up. The fourth guy, Flake. So you know, three out of the four droogs were there. But I was dim, so I uh, I had the uh, the bowler hat and a, a chain wrapped around my waist. Oh, nice. Which you know is accurate and fun, but you know chains aren't really something most places want to be let in because they're like a weapon. Good point. <laughs> Although they do have really good plastic ones during Halloween time. They do. They do. I I, I had I had real chain. Yeah, that, no, of that, course. That was at a point when I was like, I'm gonna get real chain because it's cheap. It'll be cool. <laughs> yeah, and then they don't let you in. And then yeah, you don't. I can't use it. Yeah, I've done that costume lots at the top costume shop. Those ones are fun. Yeah. You need to have the jock straps. Yep, you need to have the jock straps on the outside. On the outside, yep. I have hands. Two little hands. Uh, Jeff 3D Models is writing me that uh, Doug Jones is also the creature from the uh, the movie The Shape of Water. Yes, he is. Um, he's also uh, one of the first, I remember listening to him talk, one of the first projects he did with Guillermo del Toro was um, Mimic. And he, so there's inserts when he's one of the, uh, the giant cockroach creatures that come out of the, the sewers or out of the subway in New York City. Um, there's a shot where Did Guillermo... Did he typecast? Oh, well, he's a mime, so yeah, he's totally... And then, you know, yeah, yeah, he is. Which is, he doesn't care. <laughs> I love this. Sorry, keep going. No, it's okay. Uh, but he was talking about how 
the director, Guillermo, really wanted to have this insect look over the edge of the building, but didn't want to have it done in a human style. Didn't want to bend at the waist and look over the building. He wanted to pivot at the ankles and just kind of look over the edge of the building and then kind of be this kind of a weird motion because yeah. it's not supposed very to be cartoony. human. Very cartoony. Very, yeah, Billy Jean or whatever. Yeah. But, um, uh, or smooth criminal, I guess. But, um, they had the one of the one of the main actors they were using, and they're shooting this on a building. So the guy is up, you know, it's two stories. It's not super tall, but, but enough. Still, yeah, no, and we and and he couldn't do it. He no. couldn't. He couldn't make the motion they wanted. So that's when you tie him, hold him by the hips. Right. So uh, the third night they go out, and now they've got Doug out there, and Guillermo's already kind of given up on getting the shot the way he wants it. Right. Right. But okay, fine. We're gonna try this other guy. Fine, you're you know, a friend of the physics, producer. Physics, you know. Physics. Yeah, and so he explains. This is what it is. This is what I want you to do. Can you just do it? And Doug goes, okay. And they roll cameras, and Doug does it exactly the right way the first time. <laughs> and Gil was like, we should shoot it again, just to shoot it again. <laughs> no, I know. Small. I can appreciate that story. Yeah. And so he's been in almost all of his movies since. <laughs> you can do the thing I need it to get done. Right. Hired. Hired. A hundred percent. Oh, look at what camera is that? Three? Yeah, that's three. What, we got... Uh, we got some Bruno butt going on. We got some on. Bruno. Yeah, Wagon he's tails. excited. That's enough Bruno butt. That's enough Bruno butt. <laughs> yeah. So I think I'm going to pull this off. Well, I suppose off. we could always put a camera behind us. We can have our butts on at some point. I know. They never want to sit on the camera spots, but no. they always want to be right at my feet. Probably about that long. No. Uh, Bruce Marble 88 says, Hey Odin and Felicia, how would you make Doc Ox tentacles for a cosplay? Ooh. Honestly, um, one of the most realistic as far as get it done and, and it's a costume so you're going to have fun with it is the way Adam Savage did it. I really like that. He just took some uh, heavy gauge armature wire and then cut the same type of foam and just made four arms that were just Stiff and puppet arms. It was for uh, when Patton Oswalt did uh, okay. Doc Ock with his daughter when they went to a costume thing. Yeah, I yeah, would definitely years ago. get some kind of a backpack base. Right. So that I'd have a flat surface that's up, a, that's secure. That's secure, can, right. That I can tighten. So I'd get some kind of a backpack base. I would want it to curl, like them to kind of move. It'd be, yeah, it'd be nice for them to move. But. So I'd definitely want some kind of jointing because if I could do it where they're all on a string and as I stretch out, they all curl in because of oh, pulleys. Gotcha. Right. I would probably want to do that because that would be interesting. That would be interesting. <laughs> and not that complicated to do. I know it sounds really complicated, but... Um, right, it's not. It's just you're whatever you're doing, you're repeating a minimum four times, if not 12 times because... Uh, mm-hmm. Because all the when, tentacles. When, when you do this with the tentacles and you're, and you're pulling the wire, it's only going to move about 90 degrees. Mm -hmm. So if you need to move more than that, you need to have a secondary one in there to make it curl around more. Yeah. You, yeah. More <laughs> joints means more curl. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, but I wonder, I would use some kind of foam, whether it was pool noodles or whatever. Just yeah, pool to, noodles would totally work. Just some kind of a foam, whatever I have around, I would see what I have first before I really fully commit to how I would do it because I don't go and get the materials for the project. I get the project and see what materials I have. Right. And they kind of go backwards from there. So, I don't know. But I definitely would want it to move. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, having it move would be great. Yeah, and I feel like really just making it off of a base would make it um, secure and then noodles and stuff. It, it, it's probably, I won't 100% know what I'm doing until I get to that part. <laughs> right. Yes. There's, there's so many problems and things I solve once I'm actually touching what I'm working with. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because I'll do a whole lot of like mental work and think about how I want to do it. And that's out the window as soon as I, oh, I should just do this. Yep. Once I have it in my hands. <laughs> mm -hmm. So. That's where I'd start. Okay. I like these little arms. Now it's a puppet. 
Oh. Not a puppet, but it's a, yeah. a headless puppet. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I'm the headless <laughs> puppet. That wasn't creepy. <laughs> Hello, I'm Handy. <laughs> Flailing arms like Kermit. Jeff 3D Models has an idea of he wanted movement, a back frame with rod 10 light thin foam and a thin flexible skin like latex. Yeah. All I right. don't think you need to fully latex. Like yeah, latex so. works and is amazing, but honestly I limit its use because Well, for one thing, it actually gets heavy. It rots. And it rots. So it's not a long term. Like all the effort right. that I put into it, it's going to rot away. Any right. sunshine, storage, it's going to rot. It's going rot. to rot. So yeah. I would use latex last and let, or in small applications personally. Sure. Uh, now I'm failing to remember the name of the product. There's one I was looking at I really wanted to try. It's Was it a synthetic latex? It is a neoprene rubber. Okay, yeah. No. So it's not latex. But it's but it's formulated to work the sim, a similar way and have similar properties, and that would be fun because uh, hopefully it wouldn't. Man, what is it called? Brain. <laughs> yeah, one arm's longer than the other. Uh oh. It's okay. They're not sewn in yet. Oh okay, that's good. But I felt it. This one feels lower. Cosplay shed says hi Odin. Long time no speak. I'm just finishing off my Lego Boba Fett build. Cool. Legos. Lego, Bubba Fett. Sean Carg didn't do the jock strap. He did the eyeballs, but didn't do the jock strap. <laughs> yeah, but you could get kicked out of places for having the jock oh, strap. Oh, that's true. But I don't get why. It's Although just it's an not exterior. really a jock strap, it's it's like a it's a cricket piece. It's a, it's a British piece. Yeah, but it's still to protect. Yeah. It's protect. It, it's it's the same. Yeah. Yeah. Same function. It brings the focus to a certain area. Just saying. Right. Makes um, people uncomfortable. Yeah. Brian Zappo saying, has anyone seen the Ghostbusters Proton Pack builds that uh, Adam Savage or Lost Wax is doing? I have seen uh, thumbnails for both, but I haven't watched either of the videos. The Lost Wax one caught my attention because I do like the channel. And I, like, I like what he does. And I know Adam Savage is going to make a very accurate one, which is very cool. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure uh, Bill Duran pulled out his uh, Proton Pack as well and updated it. Because um, he, he built one a long time ago. He uh, I think he... Uh, he modified and, and, and updated or, 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 or whatever, uh, one of the, the spirit, yeah, uh, the, the spirit uh, proton pack. Because they, they actually sell one that's like 80% size. It's a little undersized. It's, it, it is of a mass-produced affordable size for such a large prop. <laughs> right, because the real sizes are too big are and just bulky. just a little too big and And then bulky. plus you need to be able to get them for kids. Yeah. <laughs> and you, like it has to fit. M right. Multiple sizes. I've always assumed it was. Well, if we make it a little smaller, it's going to take less material. It'll take less uh, less uh, of a mold to make. And You technically have more of a range of yeah. audience to use it. Kids are more likely to dress up on Halloween. Right. And it will fit both small sizes and large sizes. So it makes sense. But yeah. I'm all for bulking up or, like, pimping out um, costumes that you get at a shop. Oh, for and sure. In a bag, you know. Let's yeah. just make them take them to the next level right it's a place to start right and it's still fun I had a lot of fun last year with the um uh fallout suit that we did mm -hmm. yeah that was a lot of fun yeah party city was that? party city yeah that one was a lot of fun yeah it was let's start with the package costume and make it even cooler all right let's all do right, it all right let's do it <laughs> mm, i like the cinnamon in there well, that's good um what are we at here? I don't know. <laughs> awesome House says, yeah, you don't want to use latex because you don't want your costumes to age like the early 90s Ninja Turtles. <sighs> yeah, they rot. We know latex that rots. You latex don't... rats. So latex is natural. Right. And it comes from a tree. Yep. And it biodegrades. Yep. Which is amazing and great properties of a crafting supply, just saying. It is. But it is not going to last. No. It's going to rot. Like, we did yep. not use dry, latex masks at the costume shop because they 
they rot. They only yeah. last a few years. That you can't store them in bins because the latex touching itself it adheres over time. It does. And then you have to peel it, and then it dries out. And it uh, cracks. Yeah, it, and it cracks because it works flat and it cracks. And, and because it spends so much time flat in a bin, it's going to remain flat even on the head. Yeah. Yeah. So it like, it's not my favorite material to. Yeah, no. Like I, it's, I hear you. I don't mind working with it. I love working with it. I used it to make little latex um, puppets like to do a stop motion. I built them out of armature wire. Oh, sure. Foam and latex. And it was great. It was a little lumpy side because I was learning what I was doing. But oh, well. Whatever. It's latex. Yeah. But also at the same time, and it's not my go-to. I have a big prop i'm not gonna cover it in latex right it's gonna be expensive heavy and it's gonna rot and all my effort will only last a few years right but that's just my opinion on latex i have very strong opinions <laughs> apparently <laughs> i remember watching uh stuff about uh salacious crumb a java's little kind of buddy pet from uh from return of the jedi when they brought him out to do the the reshoots you know, it had been 20 years and this his whole neck was rotted out. And those oh, definitely. All, all pieces they needed to fix. Yeah. And Yoda had the same same issue. Even yeah. though even though those particular props and puppets were stored in the most ideal conditions they could, they There's still, still rotted. There's still a natural fiber. There's still a natural fiber that's, yeah, going to fall apart. I think more people remind me that my puppet looks like Pac-Man. Well, let me find the nose and let's so let's change that. Get nose some face eyes. going on it. Get some face going on it. Uh, E.T. was latex, wasn't it? Yes. E.T.'s yes. skin was latex. So he could not still be alive. No, he is not still alive. His his body probably is, because his whole chest cavity and everything else, all that's fiberglass and, and whatnot. All that's probably still around. But, um, yeah, no, he's he's going to look like a zombie animatronic E.T. at this point. Did you grab the eyeballs that I had sharpied? The spoons I sharpied because I started with the sharpie ones and then I replaced them with little foam dots. Um, yeah, I did. They were just on the table, so I just grabbed them and and perfect. I like it. It looks like Vegeta tails. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> what else do you want? Waka waka waka. Ah! Poke his eye out. Yeah. Let me... Need to find that. I'm gonna go grab another right down there yeah. with the sir for right. the body. Yeah, just open the door really hard and knock the camera over. You will do. <laughs> oh, I see. Yep, good. Are you gonna be adjusting this at all? You talked on the video of maybe um, adding a top strap. Um, can? Uh, I suppose it could right now. Yeah, I guess we could, yeah. Hey everybody, Joe's here! Hi! <laughs> if you're wondering why the dogs were, were barking and going nutty. That's me. Yeah, because yeah. Joe's here. Dogs love me. So what so. did you bring us today, Joe? Well, I've got your Squid Game mask. Oh yeah, that's what that is. I want to put this on Etsy. Oh, okay. You said that you wanted to give it a top strap, uh, yeah. right? So... I don't really want to put it on Etsy unless there's that top strap. No, you don't. Uh, I had noticed when I was wearing it at the end of the video, as I talked, mm -hmm. um, this as uh, my, my chin would grab the top and it was mm -hmm. pulling the mask down. Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it'll do that. So, so. Uh, yeah, well. Okay. And then once I do this, I need to actually work on getting it up onto the website. <laughs> details. <laughs> right, details. And then um, the uh, Wonder Weapon sold. So uh, I'll yes. get that out tomorrow. Right. Yep. That's cool. Now I gotta remember the rest of this. You need more elastic? Yeah, I kind of like to use the same elastic, which is the, the elastic that was originally in Mechagodzilla. Hey, Joe's the only one on camera. Yeah, hey guys. Yeah, look, I've got a Squid Game mask that's going to be on Etsy tomorrow. Do you think it'll be out in time for Halloween? Oh, it'll ship in time. Yeah, it'll, it, 
We we do uh, priority mail shipping, and the uh, Etsy's um, international shipping is actually really good. Um, good. So if they if it gets purchased within the week, it should be there in time for Halloween. Though I mean, does anybody other than the United States celebrate Halloween? Do we well, have to worry about that? We were talking about how it came from Scotland originally, or Ireland originally. Oh, okay. No <laughs> one said the wrong thing. All my friends are going to hate me. Uh, that it was uh, Scotland. How dare you? Yeah, pretty much. Oh. Sorry. Next, Sorry. next thing we know, he's going to say it came from Britain. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm brain, I'm brain dead today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sir David says, "Joe, I thought we threw you in the lava pit." Afraid not. <laughs> You're next. You only threw a little animated avatar a few times into the lava pit. Mm. <laughs> and that I, is some really, really, really thin lava because you actually like splash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't you just kind of thud <laughs> on, the, <laughs> on the lava? <laughs> 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 right? So uh, it was a lot of fun rewatching the Cody's Lab uh, YouTube video where he gets uh, his, his big 110-pound anvil and floats it in a tub of mercury. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> and it floats, because iron's less dense than mercury. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, this is very awesome. So could you, like, run across mercury? Like... If you're quick! Um, How does that work? I don't think so, because you're going to have to find the equilibrium of, of, of mass, right? And so your right. feet are going to be too... too right. Too pointy. Mm-hmm. Um, that makes sense. Otherwise, yeah, kind of. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let's let's huff some fumes. Oh, contact cement, my old friend. My old friend. <sighs> I haven't been. Um, I haven't been helping you in the shop as of late, so I, hey, I forget want... the smell of contact cement. You want to come in and do some of that? You're welcome to. Well, I know you've got a lot of stuff you got to get done, yeah. so I think um, I'm going to be helping you out with that this week. Uh, In cool. addition to helping you do computer work for, for next week's video. That, that'd be nice. Week after, yeah. Right, yeah, we're working ahead here. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be the, and, and if it takes a little longer than that, that's fine. Uh, Sean said he will work within our... Oops, I let slip. My friend Sean's going to help us. Uh, we'll work with our... Um, with my schedule, so okay. that's, that's fine. Uh, that's that's uh, my friend um, Sean Cash. He's got a YouTube channel called Try to Finish Something. And um, does a lot of Star Wars builds. He's a big Star Wars fan. But he does other stuff, too. But, um, yeah, he's got a Glowforge. And it's going to give us a hand with getting something done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because otherwise doing all that by hand, while possible... When you watch the video, you're, you're not going to want to <laughs> necessarily do it all by hand. You're, Snowboard that. You're going to want to use the file that I make <laughs> and have it be automated because, yeah. 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 But I still need to make the file. Haven't haven't even looked at it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. The fun thing with laser cutters and the fun thing with a lot of the, uh, the CNC machines, the act of cutting it out mm-hmm. when the machine starts doing it is so much faster than doing it by hand. But you're ignoring all the work of making the file beforehand, and the three or four times you got to start the project because it does something wrong. <laughs> what's what's R and D? I mean, Odin, why are you bothering to make all of these props when you can just go online and buy a three D uh, uh, file of it and three D print it? Duh. Duh. <laughs> Except that my three D printers don't three D print; they just kind of print. Spaghetti. <laughs> but even if they did work, then it right. would be Odin prints, a right. thing that he found on the internet, not Odin makes. Right. Which is still, you know, that's fun too, because I like, I do like model kits, but. Yeah. 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 I like model kits too. My poor studio full of them that aren't right. getting worked on. <sighs> yeah, it happened. Yeah, it happens. Oh, well. It'll happen eventually. I know my, my real grade perfect ability, uh, Unicorn Gundam, is uh, crying. Is it? It is crying. It's oh. saying, Build me! Build me. <laughs> I, I'm still in the box, unloved. Arlie Roth says, Hey, Odin, sorry I'm late. It's all right. Hello, Arlie. Or get your 3D modeler to help you. 
That's what uh, Jack of All Trades says. Oh, right. Yes, we. There's a couple of 3D modelers, uh, right. including yourself, myself, and of course, oh, yeah. Nora. Nora, uh, right? Yeah. <clears throat> I'm a bit of a novice when it comes to it. The only 3D modeling program that I can really get to work is Tinkercad. <laughs> okay. But, but part of that is I'm not willing to spend the hundreds uh, on a yearly basis to buy any of the others. But you're also 50 years old. Yes. And this 3D modeling is not something you went to school for. Nope. So I think you're doing pretty good well, in thank terms you. of 3D modeling. I, I, I like CAD, so uh, I would be interested in 3D modeling where I can type in the damn numbers and I know where they're going. This, this touchy-feely, pull-it-with-a-mouse thing and pretend like it's clay where it doesn't work like clay at all because I worked with too much clay. No, that doesn't work for me <laughs> at all. <laughs> yeah. And, and the scrambled egg mess, the buck the system, you know, made by everyone else who, who couldn't stand this blender. Oh, but blender, you can type in uh, um, numbers. You can type in all the numbers. Yeah, sometimes in order too. And, and you get, blender could totally care less about scale. So yeah, I've, I've taken something that I've made that I know is the scale that I want so I can 3D print it the size I want, put it in the blender because I gotta fix something. When I bring it back out, it's the size of a house. <laughs> you know what's super cool about Blender? And you go look for tutorials on how to do stuff. Like, yeah. you know, make it so that um, things are in a reasonable scale, like what we're talking about. Right. And um, they've changed the interface so many times that yeah. um, it doesn't work. Nope. Yep. Yeah, nope. So, you, you, ah, Blender, it's free. It's, it's free. It's free. It is free. And, and, and if and it I, acts like it's free. And it acts like it's free. <laughs> and if I wanted to put the time and effort, which I don't, into learning Blender, I'm sure it can do some amazing things because I, I see amazing things that people have done. I don't want to spend my life on that. <laughs> and it feels like that's what I'm doing. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's just, I just want to, I just want to freaking know there. Just. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So I like 3D Studio Max. I like right. Cinema 4D. Maya is pretty cool. Okay. Um, though Maya totally ate my um, final project in school. The, the, I had, I had, an, good for that. I had an animation project uh, that I had to do. And it, um, you know, I was young and I was not um, under the impression that I needed to save every 15 seconds. Um, All right. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't save for like over six hours. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can imagine how um, how much I cried after that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it crashed. I it, I lost everything. So my uh, Adobe Premiere projects I have set up uh, to auto save. I think it's every ten minutes. Oh. Wow. I, I, th I think the default's fifteen or twenty. Uh, and and also the default is when it auto saves, it auto saves only to. A default autosave file, right? Okay. That's right. all. So you've got this. If something goes wrong, and I did this plenty of times when I worked at the station, you go in and find this auto, and you've got the last 20 iterations that you can go back and to find where you need to undo what you need to undo because right. something broke. Now, mindset, so it hard saves every time as well. <laughs> it's probably for the best. Yes. Yeah. So long as it also saves your um, your uh, undos. Uh, what, yes. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, uh, which has got twenty or twenty five levels of undo. Yeah. Right. Right. Because I've I've done it to where I've uh, saved the file, uh -huh. but it did it hasn't I hadn't set it up so that it saves my undos, and so then I need to undo something after I've saved it and closed mm -hmm. it. Right. And I don't know if I've ever tried to undo something after I've closed it, so I've, that may not be saved. Oh, well, maybe not. That may yeah. not be. Because uh, that's. I've there's there's a problem I haven't ran into yet. <laughs> I've uh, gotten into the habit, um, at least with my visual projects, mm -hmm. where I make various different versions of it. Okay. Um, so that uh, I'm not just making like a, a million different layers uh, right. in the same project file. Um, so that way I can, if I, if I want to revert back to an old, uh, version in which I tried a different technique or something like that, right. I can just go like, okay, it's a uh, project number three that I did this and I've got like right. seven different project <laughs> files. I'm like, okay, three is what I want. 
the other six can go to the trash bin or the right. archive. So, yeah. See? And it's still Odin makes this. I'm not even fixing this for him. So... <laughs> You're just reminding me about what I talked about. Yeah. Why? Because you did the captions in the video. <laughs> yes, I did. So, there's a there's a division of labor here at Odin Makes. Um, Odin makes the stuff. Sometimes I paint it. Sometimes I help with the building of it. Hopefully I get a little bit of that uh, this week. Yeah. Ellis does all of the video editing and also the, um, the scheduling, making right. sure that um, Odin is... Um, <laughs> Doing what he's supposed to do and not um, thinking, eh, I've got time for that. Um, I totally got time yeah, for that. Yeah, totally got time for that. Um, yeah, I got time. And then I, I handle um, any more. I've been doing the social media. Um, I've been doing the Etsy. I've been doing the... Um, yeah, I appreciate it. What else do I do? Oh, yeah, I ship stuff out when stuff sells on Etsy. Yeah. And I ship stuff out when stuff... Uh, um, Needs to be shipped out on Patreon as well. Right, we got it. We got us something that's been sitting on the desk for a week. It's going to go out this. Time. Yeah, I, I mean, I could have taken it out too. I'll do I just, that. I'll do that tomorrow when I when I. I, send I still run into the same working. problem, and I say this often that I never seem to get to the post office, at least where the PO box is, when the place is open because they change their hours for the right. for the pandemic. So I'm not I'm not super worried about that particular package going out because um, that particular package was a. Um, oh, that's that one. Yeah, it, it was yeah. a patron that hadn't given me an address, and so I, I eventually. Um, and they weren't worried about it at enough. first. They weren't worried about it at first, but I was persistent because I want them to have their thing. Right. Um, and then, um, oh, the Squid Game mask has a bunch of yellow stuff all over it now. <laughs> Funny. Um, it's puppet so it'll, it'll go out tomorrow. It'll go out tomorrow. Mark, your pin's going out tomorrow. Sweet. Well, you know, Mark is on, is, is here today or not. I don't know. I'm trying to think how to, well, I guess I'm going to need to pin it, right? That way I know where to, where to do it. Do oh, I can, I can do that. Yeah, you can mark so it with just, a white marker or you can just, you know, I just go straight in with the needle, right? If, if, if there's a staple in. gun, just, <laughs> and we're good to go. <laughs> okay, right, got you. This doesn't draw. Nope. Oh, Does it well off the floor? Yeah. Yeah. That's the reason it's there? Kind of, yeah. Okay. I need to find more of that pin because that one worked really well. When it worked, it worked Silver? really well. Silver is fine. That one working better. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. All right, there you go. I bought some brand new ones this week, so. Oh, good. Hopefully. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, there's two marks because it holds up right there. Ah, there we are. Okay. And then I found this orange one for your nose. Oh, that's much nicer. Right? That's a better Toby, orange. is that um, still a shop floor mat uh, tasty? Yeah. They're really good at chewing up the floor mats. Yeah. Let's yeah, do you this. You guys cannot be trusted. Yeah, they can. You just got to know what you're trusting them for. <laughs> right. <laughs> you can trust Toby to chew on stuff, and you can trust uh, um, Bruno to... Um, Keep things wet. <laughs> lubricated <laughs> Bruce Marvel 88 says I left for a minute and Felicia became Joe lol <laughs> that happens that happens mm -hmm. um, alright I'm going to bring the sewing machine up Jeff 3D Model says and in Maya you have to set the build scale from inches to millimeters so it automatically starts out in American <laughs> uh, yeah American units yeah uh, the, the, the base stuff for, for Blender is literally set up for building buildings. <laughs> yeah. It's not, not, not something when I want to, I, I want to build handheld things, not stuff I can walk into. <laughs> um, Eolith. Eolith? Yeah, Lightbringer says, I really need to buy a Ryobi toolkit. I know, I right. want to. Um, I feel like that advertisement that they said to you totally worked for me because I'm like, yes, now I need it. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Ryobi sent us uh, glue sticks, Joe. So we got... We got oh, two, sweet. Yeah, I got some replacement glue sticks. Right? Nice. Um, hey, Odin, can you do the Batman 2022 costume? That's from Arlie Roth. 
Um, oh, from the new trailer? You don't typically do costumes. You do more props. I do more props, yeah. We, we, we have done costumes, yeah. you and I. But, um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm more interested in doing props. Um, yeah. I, I, I enjoy the, the handheld things. I enjoy helmets. I enjoy... Can I have the... The things? I enjoy scissors. I, I enjoy the smaller things like that. And also, with the nature of, of the way I've set up my channel at this point, I like doing... A project that can fit within a video and a bat suit is that's multiple videos that's multiple videos that's another uh, that's, mecha godzilla that's another gundam that's a hat and a cape, you also a need cowl. somebody that is going to be wearing the bat suit as well right and who who would be a good candidate for that well, not me i feel like that's the least important part for me because i make costumes for everybody i'm like oh yes i can make this so it can fit it most people <laughs> i which I think is why I don't really typically cosplay as much because people tend to dress as like I am that person, mm -hmm. you know, like it, right. it's costumes are very personal where I'm like, oh, we rented anybody could be this, you know, like. And I'm the opposite. I yeah. like I like the personalization of it. I like how. Yeah, like you can make a costume your own and it that wow. it only really fits you. Um, yeah. I did it, and then it fell out, and it will not go back in again. <laughs> Do you want me to show you how to use the threader? Sure, because that thing makes no sense to me at all. Okay. <laughs> I've looked at that a few times. It's like, yeah, nope. <laughs> okay, so you put it in this thing. It needs to go in that one anyways. Right, I just can't do that first. And then this part holds down the string yeah. so you can come straight across, and that's where the hook pulls it through. To pull the loop through. Oh, how neat. Okay. Yeah. I think I, think I saw most of that without risk. At least it's threaded. Yes. But Thank you. <laughs> the self-threader for if you don't want to get in there. Right. Um, Thank you. Yeah, is a nice little feature. But I really like the ones where you can just, and it does it itself automatically. But again, those are in the same price point as the knee knocker sewing machine. So eventually. Eventually. Working on it. That was really kind of cool. I liked that. Mm hmm It's a little secret. Oh. That's for buttonholes, and this is for the thing. Oh, that's going to be better if I... Yeah, it's really hard At some point, I'd that. like to learn how to do some sewing. What part do you want to learn is the question. Well, just the basics. Uh, I mean, I've never sewn anything. Like, it's, uh, I've built stuff out of foam. I've, uh, like, done some scratch building with styrene. Um, never did any welding, but. Yeah. Me either. My brothers have. I had that little ring that I made that's a little pincushion ring. My little brother welded that for me. Not just that, right here. I just feel like, you know, my skills as a maker would be enhanced if I knew how to sew. Didn't even double. Well, I guess it turned it on so reset. See, my little brother welded this for me. I'm like, I don't think I needed to weld. And I'm like, no, I had a specific project I needed welding for, so I could totally see cool. that, that this is just one of these things. It's your little pin cushion um, yeah. ring. Oh, no, it's actually. Little, yeah, so it's a smaller, more portable one when you just need a few while you're working. That's. <laughs> yeah, but that's one of those projects that I was almost going to learn how to weld to do, but then my little brother, I just gave it to him and he handled it for me. But yes, I want to learn how to weld too. But as far as sewing machines go, um, sometimes it's just you need a project to practice on, like right. a drawstring bag or a pair of pajama pants, something mm -hmm. that's just... Make a dice bag. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Which is a drawstring yeah. bag. But... Or um, when I've taught people how to sew, I have them follow paper lines, like swirls and squares and... Well, that's a good idea. Sort yeah. of like mazes, mm -hmm. so you can practice driving, I sh guess you could say, on the sewing machine. Because I feel like you just need to go through the motions. Yeah, totally. And, it, and I imagine a lot of it is practice, like any other skill. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Having a hard time threading. Oh, I got it. I just need to... The uh, thread fell down onto the spindle up here, um, and so it broke. Lovely. Yeah. So now I'm just re-threading it. So we've got a couple of 
uh, questions. I'm sure we do. We've um, ignored the, the ignored the fine people for a while. But hey, we got everybody on the on the show right now, which is pretty cool. Right? Matthew Kula says, just got home from work. What I miss other than that? A lot. Other than a lot. <laughs> other than a lot. You've missed uh, Very puppet little. making? We missed yeah, Pac-Man pu puppet making. Yep. You missed uh, me coming in and crashing the show uh, so that Odin can... Um, Finish add his a, squid a, a, mask? Yeah, to add a strap to the squid game mask so that I can put it on Etsy tomorrow. Um, we started talking about um, sewing and... We also started, at one point we're talking about uh, Freddy versus Jason versus, um, wow, I'm forgetting what, Michael Myers versus yeah. uh, uh, Ash versus the Evil Dead versus, versus dinosaurs dinosaurs and, and Billy from, from, from uh, uh, the puppet and, uh, and we can throw in, you know, anything else we want to that. Chucky? Yeah, that was one I was thinking of. My brain is mush. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we're also thinking about um, scary things, we could also add the elephants on parade. Hey, there you are, yes. <laughs> elephants on parade are definitely a scary thing. <clears throat> oh, there you go. It's just to get detached. <laughs> right, but... Uh, yeah, thread cutters. Um, the thing is, I've got, you know, a couple of decades of unlearning on the singer that doesn't do any of that. Oh, yeah, no, I still <laughs> knock my knee. Trying to, because I sew right. daily on a sewing machine that has a, a knee, knee knocker, knocker right. and the sew, the threader just is like a one touch one. So although I learned how to sew on this machine and I absolutely love it, I have broken all my habits from sewing this one because yeah. of my current. <laughs> and I'm still sewing on a brother. It just has that knee knocker. So it's just okay. that it's built in now. It's just as soon as I go, it's like knocking imaginary um, levers. Interesting. It's not perfect, but... What's not perfect about it? It looks perfect to me. Fits my head. That is a big, That is a point. <laughs> so hopefully, um, who, who, whoever's... Uh, Going to get, be getting that? It's got a big head. <laughs> well, I was. I put it on my head right. briefly, and it's... Um, you just have to take the straps in. You could either take the straps in or just, you know, not care. Oh, well, that can help. Because, Safety you know, it stays on my head. And it's not like, I mean, I guess it is kind of traveling a little bit down, but, uh, right. you know, it's easy enough. Safety to, pins. Yeah, it's easy enough to take in with safety pins. That was an and 80s song, right? The safety pin dance? <laughs> right. Yeah. And so, I mean, you really don't need this to be pretty because you've got a hoodie on anyway. Right. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Which, uh, yeah, looking at the jumpsuits, they're made out of that... Um, the fabric shopping bags they had for a while that that weird like uh non-woven non-woven woven looked kind of disposable sort of that's exactly what the jumpsuits uh, are made out of for, the, oh. for these guards is that fabric that utility fabric because so i've seen it i saw it at joanne's in the utility fabric section where i got the among us ripstop nylon it was right next to it i was like oh i know what that material is yep um, Rick M says, is a cheap sewing machine worth it for occasional use or should they all be avoided? Um, no, they are great for occasional oh, use. I used to have one of those I leave. at oh, one of the, oh, okay. the box, so gotcha. don't worry about it. Go ahead, yeah. sorry. I had at one point one of those cheap, it was $40, but then the pandemic hit and the price shot up for like $75 for these little cheap sewing machines, like the, the right. kiddo ones. And I made a project on it. They work. They're going to get you from A to B, but they're not going to last long term. You're going to end up throwing it away or donating it to a thrift store. Um, but a basic sewing machine, yes, it'll last you like a good, solid, cheap one. It's, it is worth it. Personally, I like the computerized. So if I go for a cheap sewing machine, I'm still going to go for a ch the cheapest computerized sewing machine I can get because I like being able to push in the buttons and get exactly what I want as opposed to dialing it in and trying to get as close as I can because my zigzags aren't as zigzaggy as I want them to be. <laughs> right, because then you're adjusting the, yeah, the I'm, sizes. Yeah, I'm it. not a fine tuner. Like, gotcha. I hate fine-tuning things. I'd rather just push my buttons and know I get what I want. So for me personally, on the cheaper end, I still go for a computerized sewing machine for that very reason. But, yes, a cheap sewing machine will get you through it, and it will be worth it. I'm just a little particular on that thing for that reason. <laughs> uh, all of a sudden, I remember, oh, yeah, that's right, I'm old. You're talking about fine-tuning versus a push button. Because I remember when you had to 
you know, change the channel on the TV. If you wanted to watch UHF, you could, oh, there's there's 40, and then you had to that's fine tune it <laughs> and adjust the ears. And, oh, yeah, that's what I grew up with. That's what I'm imagining, and that's okay. what I feel like when I'm yeah. like, turning all the knobs on the sewing machine. I feel like I'm <laughs> trying to make a static TV do what I want. Right. <laughs> it really does feel like that to me, but that's my own personal opinion on them. They work. Yeah. But, yeah, I also went out of my way to, sp to get the industrial... Um, the Gray Singer sewing machine. The, right, right, that right. That one. I remember that one. And I was utterly disappointed in it. Yes, even you though were. I had a friend who had one and I used theirs and I liked it. And I had one at my job that we would use as our backup sewing machine. So I thought that this one would be a good one and I hated it. I absolutely hated it. It did not last a year. It did not. It, it's right. supposed to be heavy duty. No. Anyways, but, um, but yes, a cheap sewing machine's worth it. Yeah. It is. Um, somebody, Ilana Lightbringer says, those pink elephants are extra creepy. Winnie the Poohs, Hufflepump, Huffalumps. Huffalumps, Huffalumps yep. and Woozles. Huffalumps and Woozles, yep. Mm -hmm. DJ Stumpy, original Dark Crystal movie used to freak me out as a kid. Never gone back to revisit it. I feel you. It scared me shitless. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Love that movie. <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time. Yeah, long Sean Card, Dark Crystal. It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Groot Grusin, Safety Pin Dance, Man Without Hats. Yep. <laughs> Jeff 3D models, Marvel Zombies versus Army of Darkness. Yes, that's right. I remember that comic. <laughs> yeah, and then Maria Shoemaker says, so I'm breaking the habit. I'm breaking the habit tonight. <laughs> I don't know what that's referencing. That's a Linkin Park reference. There you oh, go. Okay. He even that's... says it in the, sorry, I'm a Linkin Park fan. Oh, and uh, you're going further down too? I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm a Linkin Park fan too. I've got the Linkin Park Gundam. Yes, you do. Yeah. Yes. The GPO one, FB. Jeff Hutchins says hi all from BC, Canada. Taking a break from putting a new board on my 3D printer. Ah, <laughs> much oh boy. needed. Enjoy much your needed. break. Yes, enjoy your break. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Jeff 3D model says you can pin it if you want to. You can pin your mask behind, but if you don't pin, and if you don't pin, then you're no crafter of mine. <laughs> It's a safety pin. We're dance. having fun. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I like Great, it. Great, thanks. My wife always hands off sewing to me for buttons and small tasks. That's Rick, Rick M. Yeah. Actually, yep. I have a trick for sewing buttons with a um, sewing machine. Yeah. You set your zigzag to the width of the buttonholes. Yep. Mm. <laughs> and you set the advance to zero. <laughs> yes. Yep. You turn off the feed turn dogs. Turn off the feed you dogs. You can just yep. put them down. And if you want it to have a little bit of a shank... Don't right. tell anybody, but you really have to get it fine-tuned to the thing. You put a toothpick on top. Oh, okay. Right in between. And then it gives you that shank so you can still do that okay. back and forth. And All then right. you still have it not. And what do I mean by a shank on a button? I've never heard the term, but I figured it out immediately because I've sewn a few buttons. But what do you mean by a shank on a button? Well, buttons aren't completely flat on the, on the fabric right. or... On. Because you need space for the other fabric to fit under the button. Mm -hmm. okay. And you need to be able to get things maneuvering. So right. buttons have, like on um, pant buttons, they have a metal shank. So a little piece that comes up and keeps the button from being um, up against the fabric. Um, but you can make a thread one by wrapping the thread a few times mm -hmm. <laughs> and pulling it tight. And so it's something you don't typically think about, but when it's not there, you're like, why doesn't this button work? Yeah. It's probably because it's missing the shank. <laughs> but I remember doing that with my mechanical singer where I, I dialed it in. It's like, oh, this is really cool. <laughs> yeah. It t totally is not the best way to do it. I'm going to say if you hand sew them on, they will stay much better. But sure. when you have but a pool. <laughs> when I'm making a costume and I'm putting a bunch of decorative buttons on here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Once, once they have scavenged off of my old BDUs that have been torn out. Because BDUs have like two dozen buttons on them. They're all the same. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, let's see what yes. people are saying. Arlie Roth says, hey, I just saw the Flash movie trailer and they brought back the 1989 Michael Keaton's Batman in the Flash movie trailer. Yes, they did. You were talking about that. Uh, I was. Flashpoint. I was. I am excited for Flashpoint. I could be... Completely disappointed with Flashpoint, but right now I'm very excited with Flashpoint. <laughs> yeah, with with the DC like movie universe, it's mm -hmm. kind of like 
I, I go movie to movie. Like, Marvel, I'll see each and every movie. Right. Like, and, until they really start getting bad. Like, uh, but for DC, it's like, I, I feel like, uh, I feel like it's a buffet. And yeah. there are certain things on the buffet I don't really want to eat. Right, um, you know up front. <laughs> right. Um, but, like, the Suicide Squad, yeah. I loved that. That was right. fun. Uh, still haven't seen Justice League or the Zack Snyder cut. Give me I mean, a little bit if, of time. If I've got four hours to kill, I guess I could see the Snyder cut. Right. <laughs> Probably won't. <laughs> but Flashpoint looks interesting. Flashpoint looks interesting. The huh? Batman... Does I look good. I haven't seen the, the trailer for it, but I mean, yeah. when they announced that Pattinson was going to be Batman, mm-hmm. I actually thought that was a good casting choice. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. I did watch the trailer for uh, Black Adam. Oh, uh, I don't that? know the character at all. I said this to the funny people before. It looks neat. It looks really cool. Uh, it, it's, it's a... Um, you know, they managed to conjure up in the trailer, I, I assume, Black Adam. And um, he then proves how more superior he is than all of you inferior humans with your M16s. And that sounds about right for the character. Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and and that's about the whole trailer. And uh, Okay. <laughs> so it's very much a teaser. Very much a teaser. Okay. Because you can't give the story away. And, no. And it's, it's Dwayne Johnson, right? I believe that is his chin, yes. Okay. <laughs> All you see of, of the actor is the lower lip and chin when he when he kind of turns around to look at him and it's just all hood. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. And then there was also a trailer for the uh, the next Shazam movie. Yes, I did not watch that one. I've seen I enough. I've seen it either. That I saw Shazam. I've seen a few other Shazam trailers. I'm 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 happy to see the movie because the last one was fun. It was, it was kind of fun. <laughs> I did. I did not like the Shazam movie as much as um, I was hoping I would because okay. it just felt too much like um, like Green Lantern. Like all those other knots n- didn't really hit the mark. Kind of. Uh, Are you dissing films. Bl- Green Lantern? I would never diss Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> so. Yeah. So. First Deadpool was the best Deadpool. Uh, though Deadpool 3 that'll be awesome yeah Deadpool 3 will be awesome yeah yeah so anyway anyway this is done that is done I'm gonna get out of your hair get cracking yeah so this can go up onto Etsy tomorrow morning if you guys want Odin Squid Game Mask it'll be up It'll be up. Yeah. Don't know get how well order it with time for Halloween. Right. Yes. Be, yeah. Right. So if you got a pink hoodie or whatever, like it'll you can now own it. own my version of the mask from the number two uh, Netflix show. It is the number two. It is now the number two. It Ooh. just fell. Ooh, who did it fall to? Um, the third season of something else just came out. Oh, okay. I can't remember. I don't remember the name of it right now. Huh. You or something like that. I, I don't quite remember, but uh, it was number one for a couple of weeks. Okay. So, but it like just over the weekend because something else came out. Now, what about of all time? Has it hit number one of all time yet? Um, I don't remember. I would have to look it up, look it up. I think it might have, but I don't remember. Hmm. It 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 did really well. Yeah, yeah. I still haven't seen it. I still haven't seen it. <laughs> um, I know that it's a. Um, Kind of dystopian Hunger it's, Games. Uh, it's a dystopian battle royale. Battle royale yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 red light, green light to the death. Yeah, yeah. get get yourself <laughs> out of uh, debt um, if you would, kind of yeah, of which thing. is very much a uh, Running Man sort of too in a okay. way. Uh, um, I know Stephen. The pile of steaming <laughs> Triceratops dung. Um, oh, you put this way away, didn't you? Never mind. That's a Jurassic Park reference. It is. Uh, it's not totally all the way away. You can have it back. It's okay. I have to change it because it's okay. definitely black thread. Yes. And that's definitely not black. No, Are and you we sure? have like one minute, and then our stream's over. Oh, so okay. I figured I don't quite have time. Ah, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Um. Yeah. Well, I didn't know what time it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Apparently, um, uh, I'm here yeah. until the end. Apparently. Apparently. So. Yeah. So. Very cool. Well, I was rambling about something, but that doesn't I'm matter. sorry. I didn't mean to distract you. I just oh, was going okay. over there because I was working on your arms. You said um, Running Man was a oh, Running Man, pile right. of Triceratops. The, the, the Stephen King book or the Richard Bachman book was actually a lot of fun. Um, but because uh, you've got the guy who's, 
needing the money and basically um, in the book, he's the running man because he's the one that's got the mark on his head. There are a few contestants, other contestants that are specifically trying to find him, mm -hmm. but the public could call in and give locations. And if they give working leads, they can get a little prize. So he's running oh. from everybody. Oh, wow. <laughs> and it was wow. still a futuristic story where the roads were well manicured lawns and he had hover cars. And if you went off the lawns, the cars would flip over because the, the road wasn't flat anymore. And it was, it was a really fun story. But, um, God, the movie is such trash. <laughs> I mean, Richard Dawson's in it, the guy from, from the original Family Feud. And that's, that's great, but, oh, God. <laughs> when was this made? Like um, Early 90s was when The Running Man was made. Okay. And, and they're, they're, they're rebooting it. I think there's a, a new one coming out. Okay, gotcha. Uh, and the Richard Bachman book is from, like, the early 80s. That's gotcha. when, when Stephen King was pumping out so much that... Um, he took on a pseudonym because he, you know, you couldn't have too much Stephen King books out. Right, right. right. Yeah, yes. cocaine. You get a lot of writing done, apparently. <laughs> That's good to know. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't. I want to try. No, no. no. All right, guys. All right. I'm gonna let you guys go, considering I, you guys need to end the stream. Yeah, we should probably end the stream. Yeah, it's about yeah. time to get this done. I just yeah. figured I would get this prep for next week. Sweet. Oh. This is an idea. Um, okay. Came to me the other day when I was at work. Why don't you guys do uh, pumpkin carving for uh, live stream? Maybe for Halloween or something. I don't know. Halloween, we were going to do a Minecraft torch. Minecraft oh, torch right. and do a You told me about that. Tour. Yeah, and do a tour, tour of the building again. Right. Yep. Right, right, right. But I'm totally down to have pumpkins yeah. all decorated all over the place. That would right. be fun. That could be fun. And the last time I tried to de decorate a pumpkin, I probably took about a stream's worth of time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I did a crescent moon behind clouds, I think is what I put on my pumpkin. <laughs> well, if, if you guys like the idea of Odin and Felicia doing a live stream of carving pumpkins, let us know. Yeah. Yeah. Because, you know. Because or, there's going to be lots of different ways that you can carve a pumpkin. and. But, but this is how Odin carves the great pumpkin Charlie Brown. So, Mr. Social Media, why don't you put up a poll and, and, and let them decide which they'd rather see? I think I can do that. You think you can probably do yeah, that? Yeah. All so right. You want that, like, in... Let's, pretty soon. Let's give, let's give it... But I mean, do you want to do the pumpkin carving on Halloween, or do you want to do We could do it, do it the, the week before. The week before Halloween? Well, that's next week. That is next week, so... Right. Would you guys <laughs> Put the puppets that? on hold for a couple weeks? We could probably do that. Okay. Okay. I'll put a poll up. Yeah. See what, see what people want to see. Puppets... Or pumpkins. There yeah, you Jeff go. Jeff 3D model says, Sunday before the Minecraft one? <laughs> Sunday before the Minecraft one? I think that right. people are yeah. excited about the Minecraft oh, that'd one. That'd be cool. Hey, I don't know. Yeah. I think a Minecraft party sounds like fun. The, it does sound like fun. The Minecraft server is looking so good with people's builds. With right. Your little village and Squibs Tree. Squibs Tree. And, I talked about Squibs yeah, Tree yeah, earlier and, in the stream. Uh, um, yeah, it's uh, a big amethyst purple crystalline tree that glows at night. It's very cool. Scions, uh, like... Crazy Scion's shore, crazy, yeah. Shoreline castle thing. So Scion decided, Silver Scion decided he's going to build a castle big enough to keep out King Kong. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like it's like three thousand blocks away from right. everybody it's, else's everybody else's stuff. Is. Like it's far away. Yeah, I'm so, I'm right there next to Spawn, which was fine. That was you know, yeah. I, I expected to do that. So but. I'm gonna I'm gonna take some pictures and and post. Uh, uh, some of the different builds that are on the server. Cool. You guys are going to have to decorate media. it too for Halloween since we're all going to be over there. If we can. Throw out some pumpkins or something. Do we, well, I've got, I've got jack-o'-lanterns I was using them as lights, but... Uh, yeah. I need fi I need to finish uh, making the spawn yeah, there look you go. nice. And we can Quality make it pins. spooky. So. <sighs> I'm really... I throw right. away my bent pins. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pin. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. All right. Yep. We'll see you guys later. I want to thank everyone um, for, for sticking around to the very end, if you have been. It's, been. it's been a fun stream. Actually got some crafting done. I've got my Pac-Man puppet is almost finished. Um, and, and getting and the body started. Oh, getting the body started. See. No, it's going right. to be. Those are the I keep lines. thinking about Wild Bill from, like, you know. Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> well, we did. It, it puts the lotion on the shop towel or it gets the squeezy the hose again. <laughs> yeah, well, we got. We have to get some black for your polo. Oh, I've got polos, no problem. Yes. Yeah, so I got polos, I got goo all down the front. <laughs> it'll be very much 
accurate, though. Yes. <laughs> but, so, got your little Pac-Man. Got your whale. Yeah, <laughs> I, I ripped it apart and put it back. It's upside down. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It's perfect. <laughs> Just chin. like that. <laughs> yeah. But slowly cool. getting bodies and arms and things. Yeah, that's happening. Yeah. So, guys, for those of you who stuck around to, you know, five after two, thank you very much. Uh, really appreciate you, you tuning in. I appreciate the comments, even though I, I didn't really look at them a whole lot this last little bit. I got distracted, you know, making stuff. And I'm in the way. I, 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 I'm visually impaired. You know, I, I'm, I'm nearsighted. I can see there's comments. And they're kind of white squiggles on black. <laughs> Make a pumpkin out of foam. Out of foam. Well, I know there's going to be lots of different ways that you can carve a pumpkin, Charlie Brown. But next week, maybe we're going to see how we make. Yeah. So if you guys want us to carve a pumpkin or continue puppets, the puppets aren't going anywhere. Puppets aren't going anywhere. Pu puppets are going to get finished. But there's going to be a poll put up very shortly this week. And, and let us know what you have more interest in. And, and we will definitely go with the flow on that one. Mm -hmm. I'm down. So... So, yeah. You get to start clicking off. I'm going to start clicking off here. Steven says, see y'all, have fun. And Moon Eyes 2K, waka, waka, waka. All pumpkins, all the time. Do you want to carve a pumpkin? Do you want to carve a pumpkin? <laughs> do you want to carve it? <laughs> I'm suddenly hearing, like, frozen. Yes, do you want to carve a pumpkin? Do you want to carve a pumpkin? Doesn't have to be a pumpkin. Doesn't have to be a pumpkin. All right. Good night, everyone. Okay, Thank you very bye. much. <laughs> Too much fun. <laughs>